Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of the CC Zone. I am your host, Redacted, and I'm joined with some wonderful members of my staff here, um, and casters, and players. Uh, we got Matt G, and we got Sultan. Um, Matt G is more on the roster staff, and we got Sultan, who is one of our wonderful casters, as well as a player, um, both. No, actually, Sultan, you're in the advanced league. Matt G, you're in the intermediate and novice and league. Novice, yeah. Yeah, okay, correct, correct, <laughs> correct, correct. But yeah, so like, I'm reading Twitch chat right now. Yeah, oh, so 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 I have so big so cracker so energy. What the fuck? Who do, Who are that's you? Low back. That's Lobax. <laughs> oh, that's Lobax? Fuck that yeah. guy. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, how y'all doing, man? Let's get let's get back on topic. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm doing good. Just yeah. hyped up for CCS to start again. You know, last time I wasn't able to play as much as I wanted due to circumstances. So... I'm I'm happy that my favorite league is starting soon. Hopefully, just ban somebody this, in Twitch chat. This league fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm pretty hyped for this for this league to start. I'm ready to win both novice and intermediate. Novice is gonna be really easy, and intermediate should be pretty easy as well. So I'm looking forward to that. You say should, man, but I don't know. There's some uh, there's quite a few. Like great- who? Who? Uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get into that. Exactly. We'll get into exactly. that. We'll get into that. Just, <laughs> no, just, you know, let's have some patience. Let's have some patience. You know, we, it, it's a journey we're going on, all right? It's a mm-hmm. journey. We don't got to be all aggro right at the start. Um, Yeah, but so, yeah, like, how was y'all's off seasons? You know, prepping, joining new teams. Matt G, we'll start with you. You know, you went and joined, um, you went oh, and joined God. the ops. We'll start with you, man. <laughs> yeah, uh... Joy Omega tried out, went well, joined the team. Unfortunately, uh, Flay sucks at his job and denied by mid laner, who is CCS intermediate uh, eligible, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, that, so yeah, that sucks. MSD1. Yeah, yeah. Totally CCS intermediate eligible. D1 L- lucky, player. lucky, lucky win streak, all right? Lucky win streak. <laughs> uh, but yeah, besides that, uh, yeah, so we have a new mid laner, Goat. He's really good as well. So I'm still fully confident that we will still do well in uh intermediate and then the novice team we threw together like i don't even think a week ago so but yeah we'll we'll be fine uh, novice sucks like oh there's like gold teams in there we'll be fine all right wait well before we move on to Sultan real quick i gotta ask you two questions we're gonna start with the first one mm-hmm. did you reach out to dorado or did they reach out to you I me i'm talking to Matt oh, G. i saw the tryout app and i tried out oh okay and then this Bing Chillers team, like, how the hell did that come together? Because when I saw that roster, you you saw me in the app. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's well, actually I didn't I didn't see it. I don't know oh yeah, you actually, yeah, you don't have access to that one. I don't have mind. access to that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so me and Dojo just talked about making a novice team, and uh, and then Fusion is like, it's kind of three of us were looking for it, and then the Chillers in- intermediate roster had some changes to it, so their top and support was available. Mm-hmm. So we just said we need a top and support because the three of us. So we just kind of combined it and made a a pretty good team for it. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Well, good luck to y'all. Um, you know, I know you and Dojo's uh Manger Menace, whatever his name mm-hmm. is, is a pretty good player. So we'll see how y'all do in the novice league. You know, uh, Sultan though, how about you, man? How was your off season? You know, back with the rats, um, PG Ryan. <laughs> And whatever other iteration you guys are have formed or merged this time around. <laughs> uh okay. Separate from the topic, I guess someone in the chat wanted me to say bliet for some reason. I'm not Russian. <laughs> like, sure, you oh, heard me simple. say it. Yeah, that's yeah, simple. okay. I'm not, I'm not Russian, but okay, sure. I, I've heard it enough in CSGO days when I was in Turkey, so you know, that's fine. But uh <laughs> um <laughs> Uh well for I'm rats I think <laughs> so for rats I think we 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 started a, a, a calling ourselves as like a content team for CCS we all played since season zero I think mm-hmm. we all like like but they're they're pretty well accomplished in like separate seasons all like the only one actually winning a championship was Philly B I I, I feel like last season. Our performance was a little underestimated and like mm-hmm. underrated because 
So we we started 2-0, but then didn't make playoffs, which is like a really big bummer because all we needed to do was like win a single game out of four like eight games, and mm -hmm. we got 2-0 and everything. But I like I didn't play in three of those games that we lost. Oh. Plus, I was playing in Turkey on 80 FPS and 160 ping, and like the other game we lost was yeah, when really B was not folks. playing, and and we still like the the. the the team that got to playoffs instead of us, we actually beat them. And Flay is like he's coping so hard, but that's just the facts. I I I can't lie. That 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 is how it is. And so from that, we, like I personally think we are going to perform decent. I don't think most of our players have peaked decent ranks in Diamond. Although this is right now a Masters, yeah, um, the league right now. Masters, yeah, uh, I believe. But, like most of. Our Oh, what were you saying? I was saying advances up to Masters, yeah. Yeah, so, like, most of our players have peaked D2-ish, like, the uh, last season. I'm not, like, I don't have any issues about, like, some of these performance. We changed our support. Xenazurge, like, he's been performing really well. He's actually cracked. He he carried us uh in a lot of games that we uh, we had as scrims. So, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm really hopeful this season. Marshall, why are you LFT for CC adv Advance? I wonder. Uh, he's just saying he's LFT and CC Advance in Twitch chat there. But yeah, no, Sultan, I'm I'm pretty excited for your team. I love your team. You know, you guys always tell, call yourself a content team. Um, you know, at first when we saw your team in the Diamond League, we were like, okay, <laughs> but yeah, y'all weren't y'all weren't bad at all. You know, um, uh, definitely. We started uh, strong, but we weren't able to finish it. <laughs> sir, I'll never forget, though, uh, that w one guy, uh, that Masters jungler that was talking shit about y'all. Oh, yeah, and then we 2 of them. Yeah, yeah, that... yeah. That shit was hilarious. Uh, good times, good times. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, let's move on to the next topic here now that we've uh, found out how you two are doing, how Twitch chat doing. Um, Hope y'all have missed us. We're back live, you know, so let us know how you're doing in the chat there. But yeah, let's talk about the league format here. We kind of talked about it a little bit on the bonus episode we had back in January. But for any new viewers at home or new people in the community, this is the first time um, we've done this type of format. It used to be a Wednesday and Thursday plat league. Um, and then our diamond split just started last split. So that's entirely new. But our wonderful commissioner has just decided to, uh, you know, Split the entire thing in half and say, you know what? Low plat here, high plat mid diamond, or mid high plat low diamond here, and then like high diamond low master here. So, uh, what do you guys think about that when like when that was first announced and stuff? So, and hmm, so like as someone who mainly casted uh Wednesday and Thursday uh, last split, I feel like there were a lot of good teams. And then there were, like, a decent, like, l let me put it this way. There was, like, 20% really good teams. Mm -hmm. And then there were, like, 40% medium. And then the the, the, the left 40% was, like, I think they were just not contenders at all. Yeah. So just instead of having them just, like, getting murdered every week by top-tier teams and then even the medium-tier teams, it's just, like, much better to kind of just send some of them to their own league where they can actually have a better experience playing the game plus they have like their own content they can they they, they can they have more um, opportunities to show themselves um and show off their i don't know plays mechanics how good of a player they are and not and, 12 yeah and like the same thing with i think i would say with intermediate now that their D3 players also get being accepted into Intermediate, now if you were like, this was a big problem in the league community as well, in Amateur, where if you were D4, D3, never went to like D2, D1, it would be really hard for you to get a spot on like a high diamond to Masters team, but then you would also be not allowed in plot leagues because you peaked diamond. So with that, now the, 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 with the D3 exceptions, with the D3 cap, now intermediate will be a better that there will be better competition in the league. Plus, um, I think it will be just like overall more fun to play. It will be more inclusive. 
What about you, Matt G, when that news broke through? What were your thoughts? I thought Flair was trying to kill the leak. <laughs> it sucked. Is that what you but, thought, uh, or is that what Zol nah, told nah, you nah, to nah, say? Because nah, we know nah, what Zol's nah, opinion is. Nah, I, I speak for myself. I just yeah, wanted to make sure what the uh, Dorado State is saying, man. We we know they're <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, but uh, honestly, like I like the idea of a D three cap. I think, and then it's like there's with novice, it's the P one cap league, which is kind of how CCS was ran the first time I played it. I think so. It's like really similar, but. I don't mind kind of how there's a three league format. It's I'm sure you wanted kind of more teams for each because it's like pretty small, in my opinion, compared to last split. But I mean, it's not you know the worst thing that he did. Yeah. Uh, I, I like it being D three cap for intermediate because I like playing against you know kind of the better competition without it going too too high i mean i don't really care at the end of the day but uh having it as d3 cap i feel like it'll be strong teams which will make it more exciting and more competitive to watch as well and then yeah advance going to 95 or 99 lp then 250 lp exception, exception. yeah, yeah. No, I, uh it's whatever it's <laughs> yeah it sucks anyways it's ran by me sadly so and it's probably not a height you'll ever reach anytime soon. Yeah, so. I mean, I have an alt that's like 400 LP right now, but yeah, ain't play you lets me play. Bro? Ain't you yeah, challengers? play, play lets <laughs> me play in novice and intermediate, anyways. But yeah, I don't think it's. I, I think this league's gonna be fun, even though it is kind of smaller in comparison. But I, I think it's. I think it's gonna be good still. But I think um, what makes up for it being smaller, like Sultan was saying off air earlier, is that we've had like we have returning players, you know, mm -hmm. um, zone has been here for four splits now, I believe. I believe. I don't know Sultan, why. This like sucks. You too, right? You've been here for yeah. like, the four. Splits uh, I've been now. playing since like season zero, which was like the kind of the test split. Yeah. And like I played every ever since. Exactly. So like we have a lot of, um, as I like to call y'all, CCS regulars, you know, we like, you know, we got some CCS celebs too, you know, Matt G, you a celeb yourself. <laughs> uh, Sultan, you're, you're a known name. I wouldn't say you a celeb status just yet because, you know, you kind of hide in the in the chats and whatnot. You don't get down in the trenches with us. We're in the sewers with the rats. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> but, you know, you're definitely known though, more uh, for sure. So, yeah, it's been, it's definitely a fun community and yeah, I, this is now my third split with y'all. So with us, I, I can't say y'all now. Like I'm an outsider. I'm practically an admin. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely been a lot of fun um, seeing how this community like just stays consistent. And, you know, uh, of course, we have some folks who decided they don't want to be here anymore or whatever. And, you know, good luck to them. I do miss some of those names. I'm not going to name anybody. They know who they are if they're watching or listening. But shut the hell up, Flay. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it, it's definitely uh, been a fun league. So let, let's just move on to the next topic, though. I know everyone's been waiting for it. So let's get into it, right? Let's start with the Novice League. And let's, uh, what, are your, what are your first impressions when you guys saw these rosters? Like, just right off the bat. Hmm. Um, you, 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 do you play in Novice? Matt G does. Yeah, I, 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 okay, I, I okay. You, you take it over then. I'll you go first. Take I'll it go over. first. Yeah, let's get flashing this <laughs> real quick. Um, yeah, I don't know. The only team that I think is going to be somewhat competitive with us is going to be the optimal esports team. Uh, I think their top side's going to be pretty good, but oh, yeah. I, I think our team's just going to be straight up better across the board. Uh, the rest is kind of like I don't know. It's mainly gold teams. The let them cook jungler. He's been talking crazy as well. And we get to play him week one on stream, so I'm looking forward to that. No, that team looks I, terrible. I wonder why you get to play him on stream that, all of a sudden. Uh, oh, I wonder. That team looks fucking terrible. The language, sorry. But no, yeah, you, you can uh, curse here. Just the podcast. All right, all right perfect. Uh, no slurs. I, mean, I think, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think CB Rush will be whatever. Uh, they won't be as good as they were last split. I think last split, they, they're that? pretty underrated. Rutledge is playing jungle. Uh, Pretty much, uh, that should, uh, shouldn't do that. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, I, I think we are the best team, the Bing Chiller team. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think our carries, I think pretty much everyone on this roster can carry. Uh, 
I just don't think anyone will be able to match us. Okay. I've, I've mm. kind of, the Fujin, his name looks familiar, but I don't really Fujin. know too much about him. He, he, he uh, played in here before, I it, think. Uh, Fujin, not. I don't think he did. He was on a team, and then I don't know what happened. Uh, Fujin won APL. I played VRS with uh, him last split. We made the finals. Uh, I think Fujin's a really good ADC. Uh, probably shouldn't be allowed in this league for his skill level, in my opinion. But <laughs> oh, so you, you say know, we I'm, should? Uh, we should copy? No, yeah, it's too late. It's too late. It's hey, too hey, late. Kamish, Kamish, it's not, Kamish, have you heard? It, it, it's I, never. It's never late. It's, it's never too late. Exactly. Let's get play on that thing, but like, but, uh, I, you know, department had a roster, so I make all the decisions for that. So unfortunately, <laughs> he's staying. He's already accepted. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm excited for for novice. I think it's gonna be hmm. pretty fun. Hmm. Yeah, man, we barely got ten teams. Not <laughs> <clear>. <laughs> well, what about, what about you, Salty? I feel like. Okay, I will agree that like I think Bingchers is one of the favorites. I feel like there's actually a decent amount of teams that might like make upsets and like just win. I would say like the top three, in my opinion, is like kind of similar to Matt G's, where it's like Optimal Esports. They have also from Frozen, which was I think our top lane MVP for maybe a few splits in a row. Mm -hmm. Hunter Vol Steel, he played on CB Rush actually before, and he like had really good performances. Epi is someone that I've known in the scene for a while. He's also, like, I would call, decently experienced. I don't know their bot lane, but just their top side looks, I think, scary enough. Like, Bing Chillers, Sauter, Matchy, Fujin, I think all of those players are just, like, kind of known um, in our league as well. Maybe not Fujin, but Fujin is someone that is known in other leagues. Yeah. CB Rush, they're, they've been, like, just kind of on a tear in the last few seasons, I would say. Uh, like, they just won a lot of tournaments, so I wouldn't expect anything less than maybe semis or even finals from them. They also have someone that I know, which is uh, Zero Two. He he finally got his shot as a starter and actually playing in a league for CB Rice, so uh, maybe maybe that will be a pop-off for them. That wasn't I a sponsored statement, right? So I think that wasn't sponsored or anything? No, 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 no. My sponsor statement is for Shadow Z, you know? Okay. I, I I gotta give like this team. I'm not expecting them to win. I will say that. But Peter Griefer, this is his actually first season maining jungle, and he already hit P2. I but my man has been playing pretty well in jungle. The archer is someone that I actually personally played with, mm -hmm. and what I consider him as, although his solo queue might not show, I I feel like he's just capable enough of like handling most of the ADCs in this league. Um, I feel like it, like Nats also has been playing. He he played in I think Wednesday or Thursday last split Wait, as well. Nats is back. Is yeah, that young rat, rat is, is rat? yeah. That's yeah, Nats. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So the young rat is Nats, and then my only question mark for this team is, um, support and mid, because, um, I don't know about the support situation. I think there are some. They might there might be updates on that, but mm -hmm. movie. He is kind of a coin flip player. He he might have good games, but then he might also go like 0 and 10 sometimes. So if they can handle that, that might be my like underdog team of the season. But then there's also like CB Galaxy, which was, um, I think what was it? Uh, he, the the team's manager is Riddy, so I'm I'm pretty comfortable that like Riddy would put together a good team. And I, I think I've seen High Legacy play before. He was on um, Bingus last split. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and Spires, I think I've seen his name here and there. And then they have... Who, who is that? Sleep Cole now. Is that JC? That's JC. Yeah, that's JC. Okay. <laughs> yeah, then they have yeah, JC yeah. as their sub. So, you know... I don't know. That that team also, like, may, maybe, maybe. Like, it is too early. But, like, on paper, yeah. I, would, I would... If I had to vote, it would be Optimal, Bing Chillers, or... CB Rush. Okay, yeah. So, um, uh, let's uh let's name our top three teams real quick, and then we'll move on to intermediate because I know a lot of people are waiting <laughs> for that league. <laughs> so, Matt G, go ahead. Your top three teams. Uh, Bing Chillers one, Optimal two, uh, three. Don't sleep on Rain of Kings, the Brankles team, by the way. They're back. Rain of Kings, they, yeah, they got fucking worked by me last split in playoffs. <laughs> I don't care about them. Uh, CB Rush, I'll say three. Okay. So, uh, um, I'll go. I'll go. Optimal Bing Chillers and CB Rush. Optimal one. Oh shit. Oh 
I, I, I believe in Elsa from Frozen. That guy. Nah, Elsa. Elsa was first team for a reason. He, 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 he. he that that guy like, just like he he carried his team. What was that team's name? It was like two uh, seasons. Is that ID Frozen? Oh, ID no, Frozen. no, 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 no. But, but oh, split before that. Was, uh... Yeah, is that okay. DNX? He 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 solo. It was one. yeah okay. Yeah, okay, okay yeah yeah okay. Oh, Infinite, I think so. Team. Okay. Yeah. He was like yeah. solo one v five, like carrying his team <laughs> in this game. <laughs> he, he did. Gotcha. So. I mean, both series, both yeah. seasons. I think. I don't know. Right, for, yeah. Me, for me, I'm gonna go top three. I'm gonna say Bing Chillers, Optimal Esports, and you know what? Let's go Elysium Frost. Huh? Yeah. I just, you know, let's just go lazy on Frost. We'll do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't, I I know like some of these names. I don't really know their players or whatnot. So yeah, I'm just gonna go with that. Who knows if I'm wrong? We'll see. We'll find <laughs> out. We got time. But let's get into the meat and potatoes of the podcast. Everything that everyone's been screaming for. The freaking chat has been active literally all day. Um, The Intermediate League. So... Thoughts, first impressions when the rosters were released. What, uh, Sultan? We'll start mm. with you, since you're in the advanced league, so you uh, don't really care about these pistols anyway. Oh, uh, well, what I think is <laughs> like there's actually a lot like of names that can be like really recognized. There's a lot of like, I think coming back players, um, like Hard at Zone. Mm -hmm. They have Llama. They have Alternative. They they have a different top lane. And so I think they had Bennett normally. And yeah. Bennett went over to Dorado, so they brought in Rindo and Dragon Mooncake, the Nautilus main himself, who got away with playing Nautilus for a lot of games when they when they were first on a tear last season's first split. Mm -hmm. um, we see Contingent. I think they played in this, or maybe I'm mixing in with another league, but they're also a team that is kind of known. We see AM Bravo who was uh, a Horizon player that I personally know. He He's playing for TA now. Moonstone Gaming, this is like... Competitive the... Integrity Edition. Get the title right. <laughs> True. That they're coming back without, hopefully, without getting called without, again. Without, and, and... without Mommy's guy. Yep. <laughs> and, like, they, they, they were performing really well. And, to be honest, they, they were performing well without Mommy's guy. It was kind of unfortunate that... They lost their wins and like kind of lost their eligibility to playoffs, which was the reason they got dropped. But again, that is like another team that should like that we should keep the eyes on. Toronto teams, they had two teams in the finals last year. This year, the this split, they, they again have really good teams. Bennett, Dojo's, um, I don't know the mid laner personally, but and then Matt G and Hoshi in the bot lane. I, I would say it's like a title contender, one of them. Top and, and then the IOTA is I think the one team that I kinda have question marks with because I think BKP and Bobster played in the league last split. Mm. And I, I don't I'm not sure if like I, I don't think they performed a par with like the top four teams, but they I've known them as like decent players for the for the years that I've spent in the amateur scene, so um and, uh, they made the lower bracket run though. Oh, oh, yeah, true. on uh, ID Eclipse, BKB and Buster. I mean, and I don't remember the rest of their roster. I know, I remember Wordbox for that wonderful dog new copy pasta, but neither <laughs> here nor there. Um, yeah, so yeah, definitely the IOTA team is. Yeah, I remember when these teams were starting to get announced. Well, at least the Dorado teams, because I'm in their server. So when I start, started seeing these rosters, I was like, wait a minute, this mother. This Zoe guy, really the Pat Riley of the amateur scene, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> True. And then there's also the Binchler team, which is, again, Hunter Wolf Steel. Wait, is Hunter Wolf on another team in Novice? He's, 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 he's on right. the optimal team. Correct. Oh, okay. So on, for Binchler, he's on. So for... he sees dojos twice a week. Yep. And then they also have Civil and Coach Pizza, which I think is a decent bot lane. Um. I don't know. My, my my vote would go to in here, Dorado Omega and Hmm, I don't know. Like in Moonstone Gaming. My my first place would always go to Moonstone Gaming though. That team. They they, they got robbed last year. Bro. Uh <laughs> don't remind me. But uh besides the point, Matt G, what about you? First impressions when you looked at these rosters? Uh for the intermediate rosters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I don't know. 
some looked whatever. Like there's <laughs> like there's who? a clear there's a clear gap in between the good teams and then the teams that aren't gonna be good. Like both uh both the Dorado teams and again Iota I think Iota's really good. They've been playing uh well recently from what I've heard. Uh Moonstone as well. And I think I, I think the Chillers roster will do fine. I've mm-hmm. heard their mid laner, Karma Warrior, is really good. I don't really know much about their top laner. But I know uh yeah, Karma Warrior is gonna be good. And then Hard Hat Zone going Solbert, I think they'll both be whatever. They're in our group. So I think we'll be fine, but the team's like I don't know, like Nameless, Mint, uh, Lotus Prestige, ID, and Ren Sheet Time. I think they're all just going to be like really not good, not win much. I, I mean, they'll probably like the fodder teams. Two, yeah, they'll be like two one each other in like the when they play each other, mm-hmm. but they're it's like they're not a threat at all. And uh, we do got a hundred dollar bet against uh, Lotus mm-hmm. Prestige week three. Hey, if you want to stream it, go for it. That's free money right there, but uh, but yeah, I think uh, it will be Dorado Finals again, uh-huh. but but yeah, I think uh, we're gonna win it okay. personally. You know, no bias or anything, but yeah, and no bias, anyway. no bias, no bias. Of course not, of course not. No bias at all. No yeah, bias yeah, yeah. at all. No, but yeah, when I saw the intermediate rosters myself, I thought the same thing that like, oh, I was one for one. I was pretty happy to see a lot of very familiar names from last split coming back into the intermediate mm-hmm. league. Um, it, was, it was pretty cool, you know, just seeing all these familiar names. And then I knew because everyone knew each other, the content was going to be there, right? Like, so, yeah, I'm pretty uh, excited and happy for that. Um, so, yeah, let's... Um, oh, and of course, um, you know, Happy Moonstone's back, even, which is funny, even though I didn't really watch a lot of Wednesday games. I mean, I kind of did, but I was, like, in class at the same time. So... But, like, I'm happy Moonstone's back, even though, you know, they had their little incident uh, last split. Hopefully, Zhao PP, please do not make a fool out of me, um, because there's literally nothing I can do to save you this time. I mean, not that I could save you last time, but <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm just saying. For, for, for play, you should check what your admin is saying on, on live. Bro. Hey, nah, I didn't say shit. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> you get yeeted, that's all on you, all right? Justice for scruff my ass. That brand is D1. Tend his ass to advance with the hey, real adults. Man. Lead the teenagers alone. But, yeah. So, top three for intermediate rosters. Uh, Matt G, you start. Who's your top three, bro? Uh, for intermediate, uh, but, yeah, it's let's gonna go- be... Oh, yeah, let's- go ahead, go ahead. yeah, top three overall. I don't, even, like, I don't even care do about group by, Should I do a group by group or no? No? Nah, Just overall. 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 Uh... Uh, Omega, Iota, and then I'm gonna say Moonstone third. Okay. Hmm. So let's I'll go. I'll go Omega, Moonstone, and TA Fury. I think they're a team that I I believe in. TA Fury. Yep. I I I know their players. I feel I feel I feel like they might they might they might make something happen. It it is kind of like player bias, I guess, because I know them. Uh-huh. But, uh huh. But uh, I I feel like even their subs are pretty decent, so. Okay. Um, top three for me. Let me look at these rosters one last time, just off rip. I will say, oh, fuck, I hate this, but whatever. Omega, Moonstone, because Omega. I mean, I see the names, man. I saw y'all play last split. I saw the names. But I like it's a good roster. I'm not gonna lie. Magic, you're kind of sus because I've never seen you in your main role, but everybody else, I've seen them play. So Omega, Moonstone, and I'm gonna say going sober actually, just because I really like their logo though as well. <laughs> their logo is kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> I'll give it to that. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not I'm not completely convinced by Iota, even though once again I saw their players last split just as well. But I don't know. I, um, you know, I'm I I can put Iota four, but I I don't think top three just yet, for sure. But uh, yeah, with that being said, let's move on to uh, advanced and hopefully, you know, our wonderful commissioner has those um, apps all done. So that way, when our group draw happens after this, you know, it, it's going to be a pretty smooth ride. But let's look at the rosters that we do have in advance for now. Yeah, it's something. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, it's Matt definitely G- more than yeah, than Matt- both at least. So yeah, Matt G, we'll start with you because this is Sultan's League. <laughs> so like, what, what do you want me to say? First, 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 first impressions. When first you saw impressions. The yeah, this is you, uh, you're the roster staff for this league. So when you saw yeah. all these rosters coming in, what was, what was you thinking? Um, I think we definitely have gotten better since the last split. Uh. I mean, no returning champ Zeta, but that roster, I don't, it's not the same anymore. Like, anyways, so, uh, yeah, I think it's definitely gotten better in comparison to last split. Like, mm-hmm. rank wise, it's definitely gone up in quality as well. So, I think it'll be a really interesting split. Um, kind of this time in comparison mm-hmm. to last, there's not like a, a clear cutout who's going to win. Like, I obviously last split Zeta was the favorite. Um, I don't really think there is one for this split, in my personal opinion, at least. Uh, so yeah, I think it'll be interesting. <laughs> uh, what about you, Sultan? When um, you saw these, at least these early rosters come out, what were your oh, thoughts? well, I I still think they're like like obvious, really good teams that like as a player I would like at least be more hesitant playing against rather than like the other teams i would say although i think we talked this before the stream and this is not that this doesn't mean that they're a bad team but i feel like last season when you when we when you were going to play against zeta i think they were a much scary team than alpha is right now but alpha is still a, like probably like one of like maybe the top favorite to win the league but I, I feel like with Fireflans being like of a more of a consistent top laner, like has him. I, I, I play with him from time to time in solo queue as well. I, I've I, I've seen him play, watched him play for uh, numerous times. I think he's really good. Like may, maybe ceiling wise, he's maybe up there with Fireflans. But I, I think everyone that watched CCS consistently mm-hmm. might remember him almost throwing. Uh, Dorado Gaming, uh, well, who won it? Gamma? Was yeah. he on Gamma? Yeah, he was he on Gamma. almost like threw the semi finals single handedly. So, Has a like, the, there is some like consistency like issue maybe there. Really, yeah. probably the only upgrade that I would see from last year's roster, where he's probably like one of the top diamond, like high diamond masters junglers in amateur. And Shima coming back, defending champion. The only diff- the only person from the Zeta team who's coming back mm-hmm. to defend this title, no, and then Shima we even Joker, right? Joker, no, not Joker. Joker's not on Joker's... Zeta. No, oh, it is. He is, but this is Alpha. But J- J- Joker. So... Oh, 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 Alpha, my fault. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, yeah. So, like, their bot lane got changed. Karina and All for Love, people that we know in the scene, All for Love, also was staff for a long time in CCS last split. He named champion so, one sissy now, by the way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that, I, I know, but like, I think All for Love, we go with that. <laughs> but yeah, um, no attack. He like, she's a he's a pretty good support. Um, so I, 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 it just comes down to how good Alpha is playing together because Zeta was coming back with like previous chemistry with them so, with each other. They won, I think, Victorious, won Plat, Plat Amateur Worlds. So, like, they were coming in with that synergy. We're mm-hmm. going to see if Alpha has the same. There are, like, other things that I think are really decent. TA Blaze is, like, maybe one of the teams that might, like, that I would look. HDK is someone that I played with before. And, no, he's a really good top laner. He does, like, he's, like, a more of a carry top. I would say so. Like TA Blaze might have like a chance, and the Rats, my favorite team, the content team, we're back again. You know, I was on Cope at the beginning of the stream as well as like I think people underestimated us. I still don't think I I, I still have the feeling that we can perform decently well, like mm-hmm. make playoffs definitely this year because this split because I feel like we should have made it last split, but the unfortunate things happened. We were on the road, you know. Yeah, the road games are hard, especially when you're playing on ping. Uh, and we have like we've changed the support, and I think it's an upgrade. So, I believe in our team. You okay. know, where would you um, where would you place your team um, out of all these teams? Like top mm, five, there's top like 10. what I would say, top ten ish. 
like maybe like around seven, eight, just on paper because I've never. Most of these teams that I never played against. Play said there's so, twenty teams right now, so yeah, top ten. So the top half of the. Of yeah, the I would. Right? I would yeah. say like top top half. Like it, it, it can change. I again, there are a lot of players here that I've never played against or with. So it's hard to make a assumption of how good or bad they are. Some people are just better than what they show on so like on their solo queue. Yeah, absolutely. which I think we can know from Zeta, who were like who played in Plat Amateur Worlds and hit Masters by the end of the split. You know, mm -hmm. like sometimes people just pop off during the split. You know, so you might not know. All right, um, top three teams then. Just I know this is obviously pre groups and whatever pre draw. Bef not even full rosters because there's like a couple of teams that aren't even in here yet mm. but yeah just top three just for right now mm. uh i would say alpha for sure mm -hmm. mm. I, I, I swear i don't know i think tall like would also maybe like second or third and j just for like, I'm on the stream, guys. I, I I literally cannot get away with like I can't do this anymore. But you know, it has to be the rats. I'll, I'll put up. I'll put ourselves up there. There you go. That's what I'm talking That's about. Right. Have I, some I'm, bias. I'm on the stream. I have I'm on some the stream. bias. I'm on the stream. You guys are not. Sorry, Quick I, I said we were. I said we were the best team in intermediate. So <laughs> I'm on the team. Well, we are. But like, yeah. <laughs> All right, Magic, uh, what about you? Your top three. My top three, uh, yeah. I'll say Alpha for sure is definitely one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just because it's, you know, some ex-teammates on the team, I'll say Chillers as well. Uh, okay. Kaiser and Oreo. Kaiser, yes, sir. Yeah, those two of my team, old teammates right there. I think that team's also going to be pretty good for... I uh, definitely don't underestimate them. And I think, you know... I'll, I'll have two answers for this one. My real answer is Tau, but you know the the fake answer here. I'm gonna say TA Blaze is gonna be up there, even though Lobax sucks as a jungler. Uh, I think he'll get carried by his solo laners um, and his ball lane. I think he'll just get carried in general. That guy, that guy sucks. Trust me, I've played too many 2 a.m. flex queue games with him. He sucks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> And then who wait, is that three? Is that your that is that your three? That's my three. That's my oh, three. three. Okay, got you, yeah. got you. I um uh, for me, look, this is gonna be a little bit controversial, but I got Tau one. Cause that yeah. roster is literally the iconic ascendance roster of Diamond. <laughs> Except for I think maybe the top lane. I, I don't know. Arch didn't play on that. I think oh. it's it's like I think it was just so hair. No, I thought Ichirat was on that team too. Oh, oh yeah, he was. Yeah, is Itchy and Zohair? I feel like a lot of those other names are very familiar. I think maybe Terry was maybe Rose. played there. I think Terry, as well. Terry's good as well. Okay. I don't know if he played with them last split, but I know uh, there that that's that is a solid team as well. Okay, but yeah, um, for sure, I think uh, Tao uh is gonna be up there. Um, let's see, looking at us, these other rosters. You know, Alpha for sure, just off paper. Who knows how actual synergy goes? I don't know this USC team that is in. I don't know them, so I will just disregard for now. And you know, number three, you know what? Let's uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. CB, oh, that's the CB gaming roster. I was like, who is that? Oh, Akuma, 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 Akuma Katanas, just because they have... Uh, oh, yeah, look, go, go James. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> yeah, that, that is is, is the jungler look go James? Yeah, that's the jungler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. Right there. Akuma Katanas, because they got a jungler called Lego James. Yeah. <laughs> and he doesn't play jungle. He's actually... Yeah, that's why he's the looks right? that's, that's looks like an AD top main. Just... That's, that's why he's the GOAT. Right yeah. there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like LBJ, he he can play any role. Exactly. He can be anything. Exactly. Those are my top three. But There's yeah. Um. But actually, you know, I have something new that I'm ready to present to the community here and to you guys. Um. You know, it's something I was talking about last split. Didn't really get to uh, get it off the ground just because of um, you know, life and other things but we got it off the ground this time want to give a wonderful thanks and shout out to mb for helping this get configured 
and um, yeah, let's get this thing rolling. So basically, I have a bunch of clips from CCS of old, and we are going to rate them from one to five oh, no. with worry rogues. So oh, no. yes, no, so no. yeah, we're, we got these clips, and we're gonna rate them basically like what whatever you, you want, what you think. You know, is it five worry rogues play, or is it like a one worry rogue play, or whatever? So this will be the first clip. Tell me. And then yeah, after it's over, we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, I'm streaming in Discord, I, as by the way. I, oh, yeah, you sure you are. Yeah, oh, sure oh, oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay, okay. I yeah. literally told y'all. All right, y'all ready? Yep. All right, here you go. Here's the first clip. Not in the best position is now Helper. Has to flash away. Still has the ultimate. Not going to use it yet, but Okami goes into the back line. Big ulti. Big A. Big everything is Okami finds. The Quadra, there will not be a Penta on the table, but Okami goes absolutely huge. He's going to look for the Penta, actually. Here comes Okami. He says, give me what is mine. Penta kill. Holy. It's like the... All right. Um, so, now it's over. What do you, what do you rate it, Sultan? Uh, I will say four. Four? Just, yep, because it was against GoPM. He... Like the, 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 it was against a lot of people that I know. It was like, the, I I think after this CB Starlight roster boomed and they uh -huh. they had to like rebuild the whole thing. I'll I'll say I'll I'll, I'll say four. Okay. <laughs> Matt G, what about you? Uh, I'll say I'll give it a four as well. Uh, I remember casting that and with uh, love me there, and that that was insane when that happened. I don't know. It was it was hype. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a four. That was, that was pretty cool to watch. <laughs> it was. Hold on. I'm, like I said, sorry for uh, the viewers at home. This is still kind of scuffed because, uh, you know, just had it configured literally today. Um, But, yeah, it'll get better over time. I'm giving that a five. Nah, that pentakill was crazy. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what y'all talking well, about. That that shit was crazy. I'm oh, that that is it. like one trick now, like Okami's yeah. blood. <laughs> like it's one like trick. Okay, oh, he's, he, he's playing against the Vinless team in the so? league. So and you give it the respect it deserves. I I I, I gave four. That, that's not yeah. bad. It's That'd just like hard. if he did that against Zeta, that would be like a ten. It, it, yeah. To be fair, it was against CB Starlight who. Like so, the time so because of the quality of the team it was against, I, I that's why you're rating I, it. Oh, there the Maria was. was <laughs> I mean, it, if it was like you know, yeah, if it was against like Zeta, for example, like yeah, that's a five. But like CB Starlight, they're like, eh, or whatever. <laughs> All right, fine, fair enough. <laughs> Let's just write the. Thank God Chelsea's not in this chat. <laughs> oh, well, she'd probably be molding right now, huh? Well, she shit talks everyone in their power rankings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. her. You get something true back. True. All right, let's move on to the next clip. All right, let me load it up right now. All right, and the cross map. They didn't even try and bait a Baron where their vision control is good. As Fireplants has the Ragnarok, so that last breath, or oh, rather the fate seal, doesn't do anything. And that's for Lauren's forced to flash here. Oh, he's, he's, he's kept the ultimate going this whole time. Now finally it has expired, and the cease and desist will find it, but it doesn't find the kill because Fireplants just tanks through everything with the W with the Trinity Force, building up the attack oh. speed, finding the life steal, chasing down Bean, but he will finally be fouled thanks to the exhaust. No, he's still alive. Are you kidding? me he's trying to chase down the 80 carry as well can he get it no he get oh, hell no. again the, the same team by the way same team from uh. last clip <laughs> same team okay. from last clip okay so what do you rate it there look at this oh my what do you rate it so uh. oh okay again i would say i would say four because it is again Zeta and Goldfish, uh -huh. there's the, there's a gap between there, you know? Uh -huh. It's like, the, there's a gap between there. Plus, plus, plus. Like, you know, I think it kind of, like, proves my point of, like, last thing. Where, like, mm -hmm. okay, that play was good, but again, you were against the first team. Like, when they were playing against the first place, they just get highlight clipped as well. So, you know. All right, Matt G, what about you? I remember it. this was the the famous B1 singed incident. So, <laughs> uh, I I think this this the three. Uh, they, they like early picked Olaf, and then they picked like 
Goldfish picked like five champs that couldn't do shit to Olaf. <laughs> so I don't know. A three it, for it was, Matt G. It, it, it could have like I don't know if it was like it's it's like it wasn't a brother, maybe it, a five. Yeah, it, <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, you whatever. hear him stuttering over there? It's, it's whatever. Um, I don't know. That would. I mean, I wouldn't have allowed that person if I was playing top lane. Wouldn't let that shit happen to me though. That's Dorotophobia right there. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I honestly, I give it a four as well. Um, just Look. because I, I, I remember hearing about that, so I never saw it live. But I remember hearing about that play, and I saw it later, and I was like, "Oh yeah, man, that was pretty. That was pretty crazy." But uh, yeah, I, I I give it a four, for sure. Well, let's see if we're gonna have a play that will give five. A uh, who? But, 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 yeah, a five. Like a five. Right, like, right. it has to be like important series. Uh -huh. Good teams versus each other. Oh, you guys are like really like yeah, rating. Yeah, there's, like, there's, a there's full picture. Like, again, I was again, just rating the play if itself. He, if, well, if we give five to these. What are we gonna give to Dills? You know, like it's yeah. just like true, but it's these like, are old clips. You know, it was a different meta back then. Different, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, it matters. It matters about the importance of the match. Like game five of the finals in comparison to like game one of the regular season. Yeah, I mean, no one cares about that. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's move on to our next clip here, Matt G. I hope you're ready for this one. It's a banger. You know, have some counter near jungler more consistently to help out and put some more fear in that Olaf. Once you get out of the lane phase, I think that it's very much preferable to have the tank Gragas, but um, nice disengage there. Oh, see, and there it is. Dirt 2 1 2. Oh, with the oh, bullet. Oh, Look at it. Just shreds. Rejected oh, the new. Mossy kills BKB. And. <laughs> Goldfish Gaming are just dominating ID Eclipse right now. This game is just too funny. All right, so what do we think? What do we think? Sultan, you first. No, man. Uh, you, you know how I said it has to be playoffs and things? Uh-huh. It wasn't playoffs, but you know. There is a zero, because, by the because... way. You can give something zero, by the way. So don't... My yeah, negative one? I don't have negative. I only have zero. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, zero. <laughs> yeah, that's. Oh. I'll give it one. I'll give it one for Matchy's efforts. You give it a one, okay? <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> Matt G, what would you rate yourself? <laughs> Honestly, you know, that game, that was probably one of the worst drafts we put together. The entire split, we picked like five AP champions, and uh -huh. somehow it was our most decisive win that series. Uh -huh. uh, I'm giving that a five, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> just the pressure, the pressure of the body slam into the wall. Uh, uh -huh. it, it really, like, you know, it, I, I'm pretty sure it was game changing. Um, the, so yeah, I'm giving that a five. The whole rift was trembling. After yeah, exactly, that. exactly. They <laughs> okay. didn't know what to do. That's that's five, five. from that G. Mm, I I'm will five. give that. I'm also gonna give it um, a five. That is like a clip that Brankles would use to meme people. Like that is <laughs> no. that level of clip. It's just like I, 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 I remember I'm, that. I'm giving it a one. That. I remember that too. I like lost it in comments, but then I did that. <laughs> so I dying I'm like, shit, whoops. But yeah. Ho hope nobody that, saw that on the stream. That was that was a good time. <laughs> all right, Matt all right. G comes let, from the side, buddy slams the let, wall. Let, let, me, let, let me load up the next clip. Let me load up the next clip here. Oh, that's too funny. All right. You guys ready? <sighs> yeah. All right, here you go. Uh, I, I thought was... Shovey was in trouble, but he's, he's still Shovey. Might still be in trouble. The ultimate cooldown should be coming back online in a second, but the shutdown comes through. It comes on to Slumber Pig, though. That is a kill in return. That's what they had avoided before. Shutek trying to get out, but Gaucho landed the Q, takes the long range, carries it all the way over into the river. Kickback comes in, but Gaucho keeps on chasing. Ovo is on the opposite side now, is pinching them a little bit. Fish oh, that is one kill. That is two. Fishing for Pike has fallen. Sutek is the only one still alive, absolutely, in range of getting blown up rather quickly gaucho ward hops over cues in and yet again the jungler v a jungler trade goes in the favor of gaucho that is four kills for none god right. holy who are we rating that okay i was getting hyped while watching this you know yeah we're getting hyped this is exactly why he got compiled <laughs> exactly why that, that is that is not smurfing that is that is like i don't know um what was it called scripts he, motherfucker, landing like all the cues, kind of crazy, you know. Uh -huh. 
Because of the champion's mechanics and hardness. Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> so I'll, 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 I'll give this a four. It's still not Damn, five. It, it's, it's not, not, five it's not playoffs. It's not playoffs. It is it just like... Playoffs. That was playoffs. Wait, wasn't it by BO2? Did, no, did I'm pretty sure that was, that was playoffs. That, then, then I'll give it to him. Five. That's yeah, five. That was five okay. playoffs. Because they won five, five games that series. They went to like five games. Yeah, Leeson, yeah. Leeson on China. pressure, mechanics, performed well. There's an insect. <laughs> that that one's good. All right, Maggie, what about you? Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna give that one a four as well, or just a four. But I, that it, it was a clean play. Uh, <laughs> you know, Leeson with it was like what three enchanters or something. Mm-hmm. It was. I remember someone was coping about that being, it was like, how are we supposed to play? They have Lee Sin with three enchanters. Like, it's, it's fucking Lee Sin, man. It's, it's but, just... <laughs> but it's PB Gosh. You like, went crazy in that clip. But yeah, uh, I gave it a four. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm uh, I'm changing my stream on Discord, by the way, so that way you guys can see it easier. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh, okay, okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. This is much be better. It, it should yeah, be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, uh, here we go. So, oh, my rating, my bad. Yeah, you said you give it a four. Oh, yeah, on. four, four. Let me uh update that for you. My four. Hell yeah. Uh, what do I want to give that? I don't know. I, re- I I don't know, man. I mean, you know, nah, fuck that. It's a five. <laughs> it's who am I kidding? Like, Moonstone. Ooh, that is not five. That is a one. Hold on. There we go. There it is. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Like. You know, there, there's, there's something about Lee Sin mechanics, and every time he's in the meta, you just know, like, the good Lee Sins are just... <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it, it watching the good Lee Sins play is, like, almost unfair sometimes. It's just like, how can that champ do that? It just doesn't make sense. But, yeah, for sure. Um, ooh, hold on. I got some people um, DMing me. Yeah, we will get some callers on the line. This show is going to go until Bozo himself uh, lets me know that, you know, it's time for the draw show. Yeah, um, if you guys need to like midnight. Yeah, if you guys need to leave, fun. though, feel free to. Don't like feel like you're being held hostage here. But yeah. So um, actually, yeah. And you know what? Let's get uh, Brankles wants to call in. I know he's been a bit busy with celebrating valentine's day but absolutely brinkles can call in so yeah go ahead and join uh the voice chat brinkles let's get you up in here i think he joined and left for like a momentary thing oh did he yeah I like he been. joined and left I, I i think i saw his yeah someone, profile someone joined the call yeah i don't know oh, I, I was not paying like... attention to my dm so yeah. like, oh if anyone I'm wants to call. join this call you have to at me in the Twitch chat and Marshall's you... been asking for yeah, it for the last Mar- Marshall Marshall Marshall's, Marshall's gonna wait because he's teamless. Oh <laughs> we, we give priority to people who are on Damn. teams. Okay. If you only yeah. accept on teams or staff, you gotta be <laughs> Fuck I, know, I know Zongi was asking <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just, All right, well while we wait while we wait for Brinkles to get back to us, let's go to the last clip then here. Let me uh set it up real quick. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can actually... Let me put our audio source on it, too, so that way chat can hear you when you're giving your commentary. Oh, yeah. Sultan. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he was going crazy in that last one. He, he was. was. Sultan was like... Sultan was going crazy with it. Hold up. Bro, uh, there's something about it. It's just like... It's just something about Lee Sin. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I, I, like, 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 like I, I'm Turkish. I'm a closer fan, you know? That motherfucker, <laughs> the clutch plays... God damn. Oh, I saw the clip's name, though. Oh, oh yeah, because I am streaming. All right. You guys ready? Uh, yeah. That's fine. I don't care if you see it. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and transition it now. 9, 2, and 10 on the champion. Okay. And here again, oh, this is, to do this is like same. finals game Farming 5. Oh, more yeah. More than 10 CS per minute on this Saya in game oh, number I know 5. This one, this one doing everything in his power. Oh, God. The the, the, this is probably a 5. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, saying all right. Here. Oh, used. Joker! Oh, my goodness. Gale Force plus the free charge. Or the, okay, the pings are coming towards fence. bot side. All righty. Oh, my. Yep. You see? You see? This is what I mean when I say... Alpha is not as scary as Zeta. 
Uh-huh. They have Giga Chads like Fire Flans, Yoker. These motherfuckers are just like going for solo kills on top laners. And then, like, that's game five. That's mm-hmm. game five. So that's uh, a five for you? I, no, no. I, I saw Flaydon adding me, but like, in the chat. But like, again, I, I'll give that a five because it's game five for finals. You, like, I, I think VLS was kind of an underdog at that point. And you, that's Joker putting them in place. It's just like, you know, you might have took us the five games. Mm-hmm. I'll still solo kill your top laner, you know. Th- that, that is a five from me. Again, my, my ratings go according to the pressure of the game and the Im- impact. So, you know, I'll give that a five. All right, Matt G. Uh, I'm giving that one a five, too. That, that was like one of those plays where it's like, it's kind of like game changing, where it's like the top laner realizes he's like, shit, this guy's just better than me. I can't do anything. So, he, uh, yeah, that, I'm giving that one a five. Just the importance of the game as well. Definitely a five. Okay. Marshall, if you keep DMing me, I will block you. <laughs> also, I saw Brinkles. Oh, what's up, Brinkles? Yeah, Brinkles isn't here, but um, uh, yeah, I, w- I was going to give that a five as well. So, yeah, like that, I remember that play was crazy. Uh, and yeah, that's that's one of Joker's like, no, you sent four messages. Shut up. That, 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 that's a highlight play for sure. Yeah. That, one, that one's going in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. All righty. But we have Brinkles on the call. Go ahead and unmute for us, man. How's it going, bro? It's going well. I'm excited for the uh, for the upcoming split, man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I'm surprised your um your wife let you <laughs> join this call because it's Valentine's well, Day. Hey, listen, I will say this: it is Valentine's Day, and my lovely wife uh, is watching Gilmore Girls right now. Uh, <laughs> so he we snuck had away. Well, no, well, no, we had a Valentine's Day breakfast this morning. Mm-hmm. That's what we did because we, ha- you know, because I have a daughter, so we can't really, you know, go out late at night. So we we had Valentine's Day breakfast, and then, uh, let's see. She also made us uh, white chocolate mousse for dessert. Oh, and that's when you know you got a family. Good for you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hold on, we but, got another. We got another staff uh, member now uh, who uh, wants to join uh, the call. Hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Before we get to that, uh-huh. before we get to that, redacted. What's up? I'm gonna give. I'm gonna oh, give yeah. you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you something that you can put on the on the screen real quick. Okay, send it to me. Oh, for fuck. Right. Wait, oh. is it a clip or is it a vi- image? I feel like it's gonna be. It's an image. Me. Okay. There you it's go. Stupid ass magazine. You can... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can share that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna share this. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> no, it's not mac and cheese. Don't worry. Don't right, worry, man. It's, it's yeah, mac new split. Get, get new material, bro. I'm <laughs> sorry, but your, your mac and cheese is like forever. It's not. It's not. You gotta get. You gotta get new material. You gotta get new material, bro. We're not okay. We're not getting new material. Hey, not you trying to roast on live. Not the man with no soul trying to roast me on live, bro. Just like your idol, Michael Jordan, bald as hell. Hey, and how many rings you got? How many rings you got? How many rings you got? How many how many rings you got though? Your head's shining right now. I can see the reflection from your light. Matt G, he is Jordan. He's Michael C. Jordan. Not even Michael B. Jordan. He's just Michael C. Jordan. Not Brinkles roasting too. But anyway, this is the content Brinkles wishes to uh, show us right now. And tell us, Brinkles, what is this? So uh, one of our uh, content guys made a tier maker list of the uh, of the teams. And I was like, you know, I'll just make this. Um, listen, I'm all about rooting for underdogs and content. And uh, Marshall, there is no uh, Dorado in the novice This is the Novice League, league by the way. This is the Novice League tier maker. Uh, is yeah. this for uh, cool logos or teams that you think is, is are going to do well? Is this team quality or is this like... <laughs> Well, I would put uh, Bing Chillers at C. Like, I would they put them lower. Team. No, no, I would put them lower. Wait, is this for logos or, like, team quality, though? You didn't say. Oh, no, this is just how I feel, like... Oh, okay. This is just how I feel. This is, this is just how I feel it's going to go... How it's going to go down. Listen, listen. I love Raid of Kings. We know that, all right? We got Raid of Kings at the top. And then Let Him Cook's logo is just too good. <laughs> yeah, Let Him Cook. I I have to. And they've also been really uh, active in the trash talk. Um, Bing well, just one was... guy so far, not not the whole no, no. team. No, yeah, but Bing Ch- hey, listen, listen. One guy can carry a team. We've we've seen that. <laughs> that guy's uh, about to get violated. That guy's about to get violated on Thursday. Uh, but uh, Bing Chillers would be air. what Bing Chillers would be S, but uh, Albino Mac drops it to C. Ah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> fair, enough. fair enough for sure. Indeed. 
yeah and um we uh thank you for this brankles um and yeah expect more content coming from storm um i don't know when it's gonna drop maybe it'll drop before the league actually starts but that's for our novice league i don't know who's content for intermediate or advanced I think it's chelsea no chelsea's Chelsea, doing the chelsea's big she's doing the pit she's doing the big power rankings i don't know yeah. if she's gonna do like Oh, like regular. more, yeah, like regular yeah. stuff. I mean, if any player out there also feels like they want to do content for the league, feel free to do so, and then you know, reach out to a staff. We'll go ahead and post it as long as you know appropriate. Um, and then yeah, like we we can get it cracking up in here. But yeah, Chelsea what? is on power ranking Zongi. Uh, Sev though, we got Sev up in here too. What's up, man? How's it going? Sev, hello, brothers. <laughs> oh, Sev's here. I gotta go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Sev is um on our intermediate roster staff, I believe. Correct. That is correct. Did you do work this split? Of did course I he did work. work. Don't, you, don't yeah. even ask that uh, question. He I don't work. know, man. I ain't, I ain't seen Sev in any of the apps or anything like that. You know, he's been real quiet. I've, I've been around. I've been very quiet. I've been doing a lot of other shit. Okay, okay. I'm can't just, I'm, speak. I'm just messing can't with you. Can't speak Sev. on the on stream. But got you, uh, got yeah, you, got I've been you. around. I've been helping a little bit here and there. You know, okay. you know. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we appreciate you for all your hard work, Sev. How, what do you think about um what do you think about those intermediate rosters when they were coming in? Oof. Uh to be honest, I mean comparing it to the previous season of CCS, I think they're weaker overall. Ooh. Um I agree with that. It's not At ridiculous least, to say that. No, no. I mean, it, it may be a hot take to some people, but I think overall it's probably probably weaker. Um, I think... I was expecting probably some more known uh, orgs to join, like other than, other than Dorado, other than TA. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was expecting some other, not not any in, in in particular, but just like some other orgs, bigger mm -hmm. ones to to come in. But that did not uh, be the case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, also, I want to mention something, mm -hmm. and this is this is for our like sponsorship for the rats team. Oh. For some reason, Horizon was not included there. It is just going as rats. We, we can we can't say no. Like Horizon took us in, you know. So, oh yeah, Taylor, I, I, I changed. Gonna change. update We're gonna that, update yeah. that. It's been updated in your roles. Yeah, yeah. Least, sure but I, it hasn't I been updated, updated on it, rosters but... yet. No, I, I did, just but... just want to make sure those guys are paying the entry fee. We we, we gotta show them credited. respect. They'll get credited. Don't <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'll yeah. they'll get credit when we go zero and nine. It's fine. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> roster staff will eventually do more of their job. Uh, I'll do it eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Except for Seth. Seth's been great. But Matt G, that guy's been stuck. Huh, Matt G, I was doing Don't let me talk, don't let me talk shit on Seth. I don't, I don't do anything. What? Huh? Matt G? I don't, I don't do anything. You have Dojo's position right now. He should definitely be department head. Yeah. yeah. Go ask what, Go ask him if oh, play I... an ATL. Go ask him. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know what? Let's, uh, let's open it up to Twitch chat. Um. Do you, is there any Twitch chatters we have that want to join the call besides Marshall? <laughs> besides yeah, not Marshall. You, you then pissed me off, Marshall. I know Kaiser right. and Zongi were both asking to come in. Um, oh, bring Zolan. Oh, Zolan. I'll bring Zolan. Zolan. <laughs> I'll, hop, I'll hop off uh, Redacted so people hop, can hop on, but just let you know the novice uh, uh, spring 2023 opening is uh, exporting as we speak. Hey, that's what I like to hear. So, yep, Branko's got plenty of content coming for y'all. You know, our opening videos and then our reaction videos and whatnot. They will be great. So stay tuned for that. Novice League starts on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Thank you, Branko's, though, and have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your night. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so who are we getting up in here? Overic? You said, oh my god, there's like a lot of people in general chat. Zol, Zol, Zol said he wanted to join. Zol. I think it was Zol, Kaiser. Where's Kaiser? Kaiser? Said I, don't see, I don't see Kaiser in any of the... Uh... Kaiser typed like a while ago. He might have just left. Yeah, bring, bring Zol in here. Tell Kaiser to get in uh, voice chat and we'll bring him in. But I guess we'll bring, you know, Pat Riley no, of... Hey, no, bring, bring Pat Riley. Riley. Pat Riley of Amateur himself. 
All right, Pat Riley. Yeah, what's... Jerry Bosso for amateur plot. Yeah, what's going on, Pat Riley? His is all up in here. Can you hear yo, us? Yo, yo. What's going on, bro? Not much. Just uh, watching, waiting for the draw, Mickey Mouse League. Watching <laughs> a real league in AML. You know, you know how it is. You no, spin right now. You soul, spin right now. No, nah, I don't know, man. I look, I work here, so I cannot neither confirm nor deny any of those statements. All right, let's talk. We can, we can talk contracts later. We we'll be going free. You redacted. <laughs> redacted. Don't 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 you feel you deserve a better boss than Flay in February of all months, bro? On Dorado getting chips. My goodness, bro, man. Look, look, don't look, man. You know what? You're right. I've been under a lot of stress recently, <laughs> and I don't feel like there's just any support here for me. You know? Yep. Exactly. All this, I've been getting gaslit, and so many micro Okay, let me stop. <laughs> but, nah. Um... Oh, Flay's just messaging me stuff. Never mind. Anyway, so uh, let's let's continue our conversation, man. So, like, yeah, man, how you feeling about all, all your teams so far? Like, what, do you, what, what thoughts you got for us? Or do you have any questions for me? Uh... Questions? Why did you let uh, Scrot get violated like oh that? Oh my god! Oh god! Bro. Answer yeah. that one. Yeah, y'all, y'all just let him get gunned down, and uh, <laughs> and, and, my, and and to follow up that question, why is uh why is there a certain flying animal named player with similar stats in the league? But as uh, we can we we can talk about that later. Well, a little interesting. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're yeah about. let's try. Let's I know you're talking about. I know you're talking about. I don't fine, know what you're talking fine. about. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like oh, oh, Bruno! It's fine. Yeah, it's rigged. Just like when uh, Flay gave us two bands on Hazem, uh, just to make it interesting. He paid. Do you guys know Flay paid us like five hundred bucks to make CBR go to game like what was it? Game four, game five. I thought it was game, game five. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was big. It was big. I uh, can believe it. But um, so. I did not. I had nothing to do with Scruff's uh, ye- yeetedness, as yeah, as you, you all know. And, as you all know, I, like my nickname literally in your server is S tier instigator. Like, I'm content and production only. I I purposely avoided being on the roster staff so that way my own <laughs> personal biases would not affect any decisions. Because I already told you, I flake flame Matt Gino. They see me in some of the chats. I would have gone full content on some of these rosters that were applying. So. <laughs> Y'all should be very grateful that I am not on the roster staff. I'm just saying. Like mommy's yeah. guy would have stayed in. Like I'm not I'm not kicking that guy, all right? Moonstone was giving us views, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I think Cosm has a you know, has his thoughts on on, on players like that. <laughs> you know, no, no, we don't we don't we don't <laughs> we don't need to go into that. We don't need <laughs> to go into that. Yeah, yeah that but, was dark uh, that was a dark moment in CCS. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but um, let me uh do this real quick before we go further, cause I I see we got like a shitload of people now in the voice chat. Yeah, okay, let's do a quick uh, get people in. Oh yeah, we're gonna get more people in, but I need to do this because I so I know you know the rules, but I don't know if any of these other people know the rules. So um, for any of our viewers at home who want to be in this voice com, that's cool and all, but do not come on here acting a fool. Don't come saying any racist stuff, any transphobic stuff. Anything in our server yeah, rules yeah. do apply. If you act out, you are going to get banned. Like, yeah. we, we don't play that shit here. So I'm playing slurs. in the league. Come on, join, say some slurs. Do it. Mm. <laughs> huh? Hey, listen to the ginger at your own risk. I. Right? But I'm just. <laughs> that is your only warning. Uh. So yeah. Uh. Let's yeah. see. Ooh. One big. One big question for Zol. Wait, wait. Yeah. You go. Ask do you think? Do you think? Do you, do you think? Do you think here. last season Zeta or this season Alpha? Or Tau, uh, which one? So last season Zeta probably. I think they're just. Uh, I mean, I mean, player quality wise, it's probably not too different. But it's just like the synergy they had. I think it's what made Zeta what they were more than anything. Obviously, they're really skilled, but it's just you know, it was uh, five players that just would you know would, would die for each other on the rift. So, uh, you, it's really hard to find that uh, in any in most uh, comp teams. Man, you're really making Zo pick favorites of all of his sons. <laughs> okay, hold up, hold up. I, I got our next person. I, I I heard about this Zongi guy that's been trying to get in the voice comm, so I'm about to pull them in. Yeah, all right. All right. All right well, really there. quick before I go, or unless it's, we're doing multiple at a time. But no, we, yeah, not... we do multiple at a time. It's fine. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you said, well, you know, what are my thoughts for this for this split when we started? 
Yeah. Uh, you know, before I ask my my fair questions, uh, I think that we're running intermediate. We're taking one and two, and advanced. Uh, I think it'll be a little harder, but I do think that we are uh, up there for as contenders. Uh, I think we're pretty novice. new in diamond, so I don't. Uh, you know, I don't think I have as much knowledge of the diamond scene uh, as I do with the plat scene to safely say that we are, you know, clear favorites as opposed to like, I'd rather just say that we are contenders, strong contenders. Papa Zoe being humble. Never heard of it. <laughs> just say you're going to win it all, bro. Wait, why do I, I have I, three Dorado people in my voice calm now? Uh-uh. Yeah, that's that's that, that is past that's, the that's, limit. That's not Dorado. He's the Dorado affiliate, league. man. Yeah. Come on. Am I? Seb, yeah, it's the you, all, you always series. wish the Rado teams good luck before their matches. Don't make me air out your dirty laundry, Seb. Don't make me air out your dirty laundry. Don't make me air out your dirty laundry, bro. Next he's going to leak the the collusion between me and Flay. Exactly. It's coming. I'm going to win APL. Leaking DMs, my goodness. Oh, okay. But all right, we uh, we got lose, uh, we got Zongi like, up in here. Zongi, how's right. it going? So you don't have to leave because I actually I think you want to talk to this person. I have a feeling you might. Not really. Oh okay. <laughs> no, 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 not like in a, not like in a, not like in a, like uh, you know, I don't want to talk to him, but it's like, you know, what are, what are, what are we gonna say? Okay. You know, okay. what are you gonna say? We suck, and then I'm gonna say we stole your lunch money in APL. So. <laughs> <laughs> Zongi, are you there though? Can we? Can you hear Yo, us? Yo, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, what's going on, man? First of all, uh, what team do you play for? Because I, yeah, he said you a nobody, man. I would have taken that person. <laughs> oh, Dude, yeah. personally, Redacted's the only real one in here, so I'm gonna let it slide. Lotus Prestige, no? Yeah, Lotus Prestige. And what position do you play? I'm the best top laner in this damn league. Oh, we got another okay. top laner. Dear God. All right, let's hear it. Come on, what you gotta tell us, man? <laughs> all I gotta say is what I've been saying in intermediate chat all day. Oh, all right. that's you. Okay, that's I, right. Got it. Got it, <laughs> dude. Everyone's been sleeping on our team. We had one inting bot lane combo and APL, and everyone wants to shit on us when we finish first in our group. I have to put. I have to put a hundred dollars in an ego checked bet just to sat the, satiate this freaking <laughs> chat. They're all going after me just because I'm telling the truth. Tell them how it's going to be. And I got to screenshot all these freaking <laughs> Twitch messages throughout the entire chat so I can <laughs> put them in there like four weeks down the line when we're on top and Dorado's like one and three. Oh. Uh, when were we one and three? <laughs> not, on, not only a loss to Lotus, but one and three? No, we were never one and three at any point. I no, think... he, he's saying that for this one. So. He, yeah, the, hey, he's Flay, going this Flay? Oh, Wait, I see you in Twitch chat, was, Flay. You oh. better be done with all them apps and stuff, bro. No, you I, 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 I seen that. I, I seen that. That, that okay. low, this roster. I'm not worried. We, 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 yeah, we gotta I have like a loser. Loser leaves the Discord server type thing here. <laughs> oh, CCS uh, Deathmatch uh, server. I, 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 CCS Deathmatch server. I, I did that a while back with Zone. You know, like we were we were clashing in the top lane. I lost. I took the. I took it to the heart. You leave the server for a week. You can come back in your next day, in your next game. Can we put? Well, a, I'm totally like down that? to do that along with. Who's the enemy later. top laner? Is I was it do that as well? Who's Wait, the enemy top? Uh, oh, is he between yeah, Matt yeah, and Zoe? Right? It's between I mean... Dojos and uh, Zoe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you guys gotta fig figure that out. But you know, I I like those type of things. You, it, you can't. It's crazy. So, Dorado, they have like the best jungler I've ever seen, Godi, and they let him off roll mid lane. I like just don't understand what they are thinking. Like, why is you got the we, owner we, right we here? Have good, we have a good jungler laner. already, and we need a mid laner, and he plays mid, yeah. so we might as well put him there. He's a good jungler, though. You're right. Uh, so that means you know ball. <laughs> but if you also knew ball, you know that Bozos is also really good. Oh, Mega I have never heard that name in my life. That's how I know you're not. You're not in. You're not. You're not knowledgeable. I don't hey, you're gonna learn about him week three. Win. You're gonna learn about him. Oh my god! Dude, all I need to learn is how much money I'm gonna be making off your team. None. I'm. I'm none. I'm afraid. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, you know, Zongi, my question for you though, uh, Lotus Prestige, right? I just wanna make sure I got your team right, because uh, that's correct, right? Yeah, you got it. You okay, got it. okay. You're just making sure. Yeah. Uh, you guys are a new org to me. I'm not. I don't really like traverse the amateur scene much. So um yeah, uh what can you tell us about your Oregon? Like um what 
like tell us about your organ stuff basically so we have like a simp owner who a simp for every girl he invites to the server and we are a ton of boomers on a roster how old, that, are you, uh, well, how old is your average age of your team? You can give me a rough math number. I, won't, I would say I won't, like, I won't 20, like this. 5, 26. God damn. Like mm. Grandpa. We're all up. old as fuck. And we're still going to wipe the floor. But either way, um, I don't know. We have like a ton of different rosters. We used to play in X and C a lot. Now we played in APL a couple splits ago. Mm -hmm. Took some time off so I can refine my top lane and we could find some new um, players for our team. We had to make some changes after APL, and uh, now I'm pretty confident. Like, not only are we gonna finish first in group like last time, but we're not gonna get knocked out in round one of playoffs. Okay. Okay. Well, good luck to you. I mean, there's a lot of doubters. I'm not. I won't say I'm doubting you. I just don't know you, so um, I'll just have to wait and see what You'll things find look out. like. You'll find out. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, you know, um, let's see. Is there anyone else that wants to ask a question? Zongi, if you want to hang out here, you can. Uh, if you want to leave voice chat, you also can as well. No, I'm going to bounce. I'm going to play some Dark and Darker. The only good game I have right now. <laughs> okay, well, have fun with that. And thanks for uh, coming in. We'll see you on the Rift tomorrow, actually. Yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciate the content, ladies. Yeah, <laughs> see All right. Anyone got any questions for us? Anyone wants to come in voice chat? Should I let Marshall in now? Sure. Why not? All right. Marshall, you're coming in. Get ready. And you... Oh. Actually, and here are your conditions for coming into the voice chat. You got to tell us why you got kicked off your team. True. True. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I want the T. He was on the mm -hmm. team. He, he was, was on TA Blaze. TA Blaze. <laughs> Spoiler alert? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Marshall, did you hear that? No. All right, what's the okay. T, bro? What happened? T.A. Blaze. I heard there was a... Change, a Blaze is, change in uh, rosters. That shit was my fault. With respect to T.A. Blaze, they're going to be a great team this, this split. I think it's going to be uh, Tau, then Blaze, then Alpha, in that order. You can quote me on that. And... Uh-huh. Go on. Don't be dry paint. Say something crazy be... about the team. Say the team sucks to someone. Give us some content. <laughs> I, think, I think most of the teams are going to suck. Are, but, you, are uh, you still looking for a team there? Are you going to still try and play in advanced? Or... I'm still going to try to play advanced, though. I'm probably going to hit Masters soon. So it's just the goal. Okay. If I do if I do get a team in here, it'd be great because I know you guys have a really like, high quality league. But if I don't, I don't, you know? High quality. Yeah, he doesn't know. Hey, hey, hey. He, hey, doesn't, hey, he doesn't know. I'm not sure. I mean, just what tell him. people Yo, say. Flay, like, Flay, where are we going next? He's actually really good. <laughs> how, how, how much did Flay pay you to say that? Come on now. <laughs> Flay, where, where are we going next? Flay, say it in chat. Flay doesn't even have PayPal, so. <laughs> and oh, I see that. you in chat. You're lucky. You're like five foot four, bro. <laughs> Shut up. All right, hold on. Marsha, why we got you up in here? Um... We got another person. His name is Alas. I'm not sure what team he's from, but he also wants to come into the chat and say something. So I'm going to drag him in too. ID Tom. Who is? Uh, Halas. Oh, is that the Fui Fui guy? Yeah. Okay. Who, who, what guy? Yeah, I think the Fui Fui. Fui Fui. TA. Wait. Who is oh, Bennett, come after me when you actually and you see oh, hold, on. Hold, on, hold on 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 you see and this is why I was asking y'all to change your server nicknames <laughs> do you see what I'm saying now like I'm not trying to be this communist dictator so I'm just saying it makes it so much easier well, for me to know what who, what, what role do you play who well, people I are I did change my summoner to what uh, the account I'm using. Oh, like, the mid laner. Change, you're the mid laner. Okay. I change name every season, so it's hard I, I to see, I see. I, I ain't got an issue with that. I, and I'm not just talking about you, um, Alas, or what do you want to be called? What do you want to be called? Uh, you'd call me, I mean, Fui Fui. I guess I'm more known under Fui Fui than in other names. Okay, yeah, so we'll call you Fui Fui. Yeah, I'm not just singling you, I'm just saying in general because, like, we always get an influx of people and then. You know, you got people talking crazy or whatnot. You're just like, who, who are you? Uh, who, who, <laughs> like, who? Like, who are you? <laughs> so that's part of the reason why, like, the whole server nickname IGN thing was implemented because 
especially when y'all open tickets or when you try and talk to staff we're just like bro who who are you <laughs> well, that's perfectly fair and you're right about that because if you also want to like who you're talking to and like the jay and chat of trash talk you also make sure you don't at the wrong person True. that's like really embarrassing exactly yeah. trash talk because trash talk's fun but you don't want to shoot the wrong guy exactly True. But uh, you know what, Matt G and Sultan, I'm gonna let y'all take over the conversation real quick because I need to start configuring for the um, what's this thing called? The oh, draw show. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, Fiv, wait, wait. How do you say that? Yeah, snow. Sorry. I'll just go snowfall. I, I'll just go snowfall. My my English is already like half bad, and I can't like sometimes pronounce things. So um. What is your what what is your expectations for intermediate? There was the the draw show yesterday, and then today we kind of went over the teams. We didn't spend too much time on ID Toxin, but I know ID from like some players previously playing on it. So, uh, what what would you tell us about your team? So, uh, I mean, I've been around for quite some time. I've played like in UJL and all the leagues. I kind of know like everyone is playing the split or like almost. Uh, there's certain teams that I don't really know a lot about them, like um, Stun Middows, not sure who they are exactly. But uh, what I can say is that um, ID Toxin is probably a team that I have the least uh, idea of what's going on. Uh, <laughs> the players that I know the less are the players on my team, ironically. Um, so I don't know where we stand in this league, but for sure... This is, I mean, I don't, I guess it's because it's a winter split. It seems like uh, CCS Intermediate is way less stacked than it should have been, or like uh, how it was this summer. Mm -hmm. I do expect Dorado uh, probably go away with the championship again. Uh, their teams are probably the most stacked out of uh, any teams in there. Hard Add Zone seems to have a pretty good team too. And beside that, uh, everyone else seems to be like in the middle of the pack. I agree. I think you guys also had the first roster change of the split. I think you guys added Sutek. If yeah, I'm well, wrong. Izzo, Sutek, uh, the, I have to interrupt real quick. That uh, that freaking addition was hilarious. Because <laughs> y'all are literally LFT in the chat talking about, hey, we're looking for a jungler. Here comes Sutek. Just, I'm a jungler. Week two, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. All right. I'm muting again. Uh, Sutek's pretty good, all things considered. I think he's like a fine addition to any team. Yeah, so we've been looking for jungler for quite some time. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, by the way, uh, Redacted, are we going to pull anyone? Uh, Do you know? Uh, no. Uh, sorry, we're not going to pull anyone else because we're actually going to uh. go to a short break in like a minute and a half here. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait. Give me a second then. I got to do this for my teammates. I'll, I'll, I'll pull the rats here for a second. Oh, oh. my god. So oh. This is the whole roster here. It's a raid, oh, holy! What oh, the? So and not you hijacking my show. Hey. Got your show well, jacked. Well, well, rats clear. Rats <laughs> take <laughs> over. Let's go. Rats clear. It's not even fucking close. The rats found their way through the sewers. They they, 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 were, they were sitting in there for a while, and I know they were not gonna accept anyone for longer. Oh my to god! Be honest. Everybody twice through the Twitch replay. Oh my god! I'm actually yeah. imploding. Oh, I literally okay, asked in gen chat who else wants to join in, and nobody said anything. Over yeah, they, they were they were just we, sitting we in the gen to. chat. We, they were just we sitting in gen chat. Yeah, who would want to be on this? Oh, we're podcast. gonna we're gonna Come kick on. them. <laughs> we're, we're gonna kick them soon, so it doesn't matter. But like, yeah. Huh. So again, I'll ask my own teammates. What do you guys think of the competition? Competition? I don't know what you mean. This there is, is no competition. Okay. Rats clear. True. So before I dip. Uh, I am LFT and subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to kick how that much, bro? He's got some good stuff oh. on there. Ain't gonna lie. Mm? What do you mean, seven? How much? What? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it, bro. All right, y'all. Well, with that being said, we are actually going to cut to a short break as we prepare for the draw show. We'll be back in about five to seven minutes. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Damn, yeah, motherfuckers not staying for this.
All right, and then you count us on whenever you're ready. Welcome, oh. everybody. To the... oh. <laughs> oh, well, the cuffed. God damn. I was not counting down. <laughs> well, regardless, was... <laughs> welcome to the CCS Advanced Draw. I am Play. Uh, for some of you, we did this yesterday. If you saw the intermediate draw. But unlike yesterday, I'm actually joined here by Matt, who's actually one of our roster staff people here at CCS Advanced, and Sultan, who is one of our casters. How are you guys doing today? And I was going to introduce you later. Yeah, you're your analyst first. Kind of redacted. Everybody knows you're redacted. <laughs> you're you're the you're the celebrity. Anyway, here. how are my two analysts doing? Oh, you good. know, we're doing good. That's Podcast good going good well. Oh, good as well as it could, right? Yeah, and speaking terrible. of the podcast himself, the host, Redacted himself, also join us here to kind of help us with the show and kind of mm -hmm. figure out what our two groups are going to be here in our 22 CCS League. Now, we have three pools, and the way this was divided, for those of you guys who are asking, uh, pretty simple. What we do is we just look at your last season peak rank of all your accounts. So, obviously, I would say, unfortunately, many of you Diamond Masters players like making new accounts. Um, so, it quite took a lot to look for every single account to find your peak ranks. But we did, and we found your peak rank. And so essentially, we put your peak rank in. We have a linear system that kind of uh, values. So for example, if your peak rank was D4, it's like one point. Peak rank was D3, two points, et cetera, et cetera, all the way up to Masters. Unfortunately, we are not able to check the peak LP rank last season, as many of you know, which is why it was end season rank. Um, so obviously, your Masters, it counts to full points. We add those points up. We rank all the teams, but it's a solo queue rank. We order them up. We divide it up in three pools. We do a bit of a discretionary adjustments for teams that are close. For example, if two teams are very close together and we know one of the teams has performed here before and has good experience, we may move them up. But in general, most of these pools are decided by your solo queue rankings. So, wait, a Masters of Millie, shut up. So, without further ado, our pool one is only four teams. Um, and the reason we decided this is, as you guys know, for our league structure, to quickly explain that, there's two groups of 10 teams, a nine-week single round system. You put everyone in your group one time. The top two gets a bye. Three, four, five, and six goes to the first round. Obviously, seven, ten are eliminated. And then once you get into playoffs, the first seed has the ability to pick their opponent from the first round, and then you carry on fourth. Uh, the playoff system is very similar. If you guys are aware to the old NFL system, uh, so you have the first and second seed, and then three versus six, four versus five on both sides in the bracket. And the playoffs are cross-group. So while you're not going to play the group in the regular season, um, you are going to be playing against your other opponents in the playoffs. So, without further ado, Redacted, if you'd like to spin Pool 1 to figure out the first team in CCS that will be joining us. And also, if you'd like to share your screen so we can see, if that's possible. It's on oh, stream. For us, yes. If it's possible. If not, that's fine. We'll just look at Twitch. One moment. We uh, do not pay our production staff here enough of a living wage, so they're currently operating on, on a hamster wheel. So give them a second here. Billy B, I'll kill you. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, hell no. Well, oh, hell no. Put some Kanye on. Man, spin Kanye the wheel. On. No, nah, it's actually working for Kanye. He's a goat. Yeah, it is right. That's a goat right there. I stand with everything he's ever said. <laughs> oh. No. All right. Our first team here in pool one is pretty much the defending champions from last year, Dog Alpha. Um, I say pretty much. Technically it's speaking, the only champions Shima. are Zeta. Yes, but they are the successor. If we if we had to, if we had to have a quote unquote successor roster, it would be. Dog Alpha. Uh, Dog Alpha returns here with a roster that is pretty different from the only one in CCS, but still has the core player, and I'd argue probably their MVP last split in Shima. Uh, the roster itself currently includes Hazem, who was part of the CCS plot team Gamma, who won. Ready, uh, who is ready. Uh, Carino, also <laughs> part of the uh, Gamma roster that won with CCS plot. And then No Tech, who was technically a Zeta player, a sub on that team. That doesn't count. Joined us technically speaking, who now joins, but he was also well-known as a CV Starlight support and also played last split in CCS Fall. Um, Sultan, thoughts on this roster of his revamped Dog Alpha team joining us here in Group A. And a quick disclaimer before you say that, uh, there are two dog teams. I believe there are also two TA teams, if I'm not trolling. Uh, yeah. Teams of the same 
or it cannot be drawn together. So if it happens, we have to redraw. <laughs> so some thoughts uh, on this dog alpha team. So we kind of talked about in the podcast as well, but uh, I feel like this th this team doesn't hit as like it doesn't have the same effect that Zeta had. Like Zeta was coming in as a squad that played with each other before. And when we asked Zola as well, he was just like, that's what made Zeta really that top tier team. The synergy that they, the amount of time they spent with each other. These players, they're still good players uh, for our league. Shima, as you said, MVP has them. I think there might be some consistency issues. With Riddy, that guy is not only Riddy. The guy won the BOL Diamond with his squad. A real From a basic... Well, yeah. if real league, maybe maybe not as hard as CCS here. They, the competition was maybe a bit lower, but again, a league chi a chip is a chip, you know. He still <laughs> won something, and like the guy, he's been I think one of the mo best performing mass low masters, high diamond junglers mm -hmm. um, that I've seen in the scene. So I think that is definitely like the one upgrade that they have from Zeta. I think this team will come down to. If Hazem can perform consistent, and can the bot lane fill the shoes? How much they can fill the shoes of Joker and Kibbles? Matt, any thoughts to add on the map? Uh, I think this Alpha team is actually one of the tournament favorites. I think they're really mm -hmm. good. Um, Carino, I think, is a really, really good ADC. I think he's probably one of the best ADs that we have in this mm -hmm. league. Um, Riddy, solid jungler as well. He's whatever. I think a lot of junglers will match him and probably do better. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, yeah, there's Hazem. Hopefully, semifinals, they better have a top sub. <laughs> Unfortunately for again. them, they uh, if they finish top two, they'll get by. Right. Actually, no, they'll be right before semi. So he'll have a warm up game before he has to play semi. Ah, oh, okay, that's fine. Sure. I mean, I don't think it will matter because it's the last split, but yeah, we're yeah, gonna sure. Be nice, so. Yeah. Hypothetically speaking, yeah, hypothetically speaking. But yeah, I think this team is probably going to be the best team in the league, in my opinion. Alright. Yes, sir. And there are four teams for pool one. Um, So now we have CB Diamond, Akuma, and TA Nebula. So, it's going to go. By the way, they cannot hear you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, honestly, let's just keep it that way. We don't need to hear redacted the yeah, other yeah, way. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just here to spin the wheel. <laughs> the wheel elite, though. <laughs> Speaking of elite, the wheel goes crazy. T Wait, is it lagging? Oh, TA. It was actually lagging on the screen, but it's TA Nebula is the team that was shit. spinned. We're not, we are. Sorry. Okay, it works out. Wait, what? I was trying to hit remove. Oh, okay, okay. okay. The we we call it, the website seems to have glitched. It was not rigged. I promise you, we do not care enough to rig it. Believe me. TA Nebula is the second team drawn here on CCS Group B. You know, this is a team of actually fairly familiar faces, um, maybe from other areas. So we have Severe, Pig Pig Boss Moo, Wind Trading, Dallas, and Respirate. Um, Dallas, many of you will remember. Uh, you know, had a strong start to the Plot CCS play in ID Frozen, and then a less than memorable playoffs, to be quite honest. Um, he does ascend up into the D1 Masters level, and now he's joined TA Nebula with some more well-known players. Win Trading, a Severe, Pig Pig Boston, they were actually part of a CCS Fall Diamond split. Had a pretty solid showing, coming up in the quarterfinals in our more miniature split. Uh, they're back again. Uh, going up to Matt right here, what do you think of his TA Nebula team? They were considered one of our Pool 1 teams. All of them had very strong solo queues. I think this team has mm. four master peak players last split. Um, mm. So, what are your thoughts of this team coming in now into Group B? Uh, I, I think they're gonna be. I think they're gonna be pretty solid. Um, I've played against Dallas before. I think he's a pretty good AD carry. And Dallas is a, and well he a two-time All Star MVP. He, he or is winner. my teammate in the two in a, in one of the MVP or All Star. Yeah, All Star things. Yeah, yeah All Star attorney. Two-time winner. Got me, he got me a VRD chip, so I respect that. Uh, and yeah, I, I think there, there'll be a, a, a strong team for sure, uh, but I, I don't have them as like, you know, one of the teams that's that's going to go all the way. I think they'll have a good playoff run, but I think some of these teams are just a bit stronger. You got them as a fake pool one seed? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, and they have Holy Carrot as their jungler. 
I forgot. Yes. It. Yes. Uh, and yeah, not the change. Sultan, uh, do you think T Nebula mm. is a fake pool one team, or do they live up to their solo queue hype? Uh, I I think they can be a like a tier one team. I guess mm -hmm. like the pool one team. But personally, I would choose T A place over T A Nebula. Like okay. if because because we can't have like two at the same place. I would choose TA Blaze over TA Nebula, but I, I think they. Well, was their name TA Blue? But I think that they play in BOL. Lot, I, th I think they well. play in. Like, I think this. Something really similar to this roster. I think Vend, Dallas, and Severe played in BOL together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they they did lose to Riddy's team. Ooh. So. BOL is like. Ready. Yeah. So, again, you said BOL doesn't have competition. So, like, he beat, I think, TA. On the way that had Vend and Severe, so uh, they they face again. The, at least not until playoffs, but you know, it, it will be an interesting matchup. And I think again, Severe. I think he's a normally and he was an ADC main that was that started playing top last split, and he's been performing really well. He, I remember he he played against No Doll. I think it was like CB Diamonds top laner where he outperformed him with decent wit. So he he is kind of like the play that I'm looking forward to how he performs this split. Sure. Yeah, right. and you guys know my opinion on TA teams. They uh Lobax had added me in trash talks talking about I didn't have faith in him. TA has yet to beat the CCS curse. Um I don't think you guys have ever even reached have they reached conference semifinals? I think ever I think TA, like, I think TA night. night. TA Knight, maybe. No, and like Diamond Tourney team. aside, Diamond Tourney is different. TA, like... TA Knight lost in the first round. No. <laughs> oh. But like regular split CCS, TA has not. TA Light. Oh, TA Light. My TA. <laughs> TA, 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 hasn't, TA hasn't got far in the regular CCS. Yeah, so right. maybe Lobox, you can prove me wrong. Dallas, we know, is a pretty damn good ADC. So who, we'll see how that team does as well. But yeah, we can get back to the wheel. Dallas Warrior Brothers. All right. Brothers. Our next spin. In pool one here between CB Diamond and Akuma. We'll see what's going on here. Akuma Katanas, right? Yes, Akuma Katanas. Oh, look out. And Legoat himself joining. God, I love that name. <laughs> That's an elite. I don't know how. Bit of a bit of a sidetrack. I don't know how their jungler got Legoat James as their fucking name. That is hilarious to it's, me. It's respect. It, uh, it just, I don't know how no one else got it, is kind of the thing. But Akuma Katanas joins us here in group A. Um, they are joined near Akuma organization. Uh, actually made their debut in CCS Lot Split and Plat, but they're more well known as a higher yield league. They come in their debut, I guess, in higher yield of CCS. If they have a roster of a Kimshi on Rice, Legoat James, DX, AKMX Fluke, and Sully. Uh, Sultan, any thoughts or insights on this Akuma roster here coming in joining Alpha in Group A? Um, I don't like specifically know the players, but I think Akuma has been just like a org that's been performing decent especially in like plot to diamond it, the, like higher things i think it was aegis's first split that they had where akuma won um mm -hmm. the split beating cb rush which like cb Boy rush at the time was like a stacked roster so like any roster that akuma brings i think will most likely be really good and like a, a contender at the least their players right now, I think if one player was like that I should focus on, I, I think it would be Deox, their mid laner. He is, he looks really solid. He plays ADCs as well. So like th th there might be even like some flex opportunities between this mid AD players, which right now the meta is like really open to just flex picks, ADCs, mm -hmm. bot lane, things like that. So I feel like this team might be one of, one of the teams that we don't really know much about starting at the beginning of the split, but by the end, we might just count them in as like a really top tier team. Matt, any thoughts on that? Uh, on the Akuma team, I'm pretty sure Soli was a sub on Zeta last split. I don't know if they mm -hmm. played, but I'm like 90% sure. Um, I haven't heard, I've heard a little bit about X Fluke, not too, too much. Um, he's peaked high ranks, so on yeah, paper, that's, sounds that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Lego James, of course. He's... <laughs> I love that yeah, name. I yeah, ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I mean, he, knows, yeah, he knows ball. He can't be bad, yeah, right? He, he's about to go through, like, he's about to sweep the whole season, just undefeated. He's gonna come on the finals interview and be like, that's too easy. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, we're calling, and, and that's it. I, I think I think they're, they are gonna be a solid team. I, I have them over the TA team, to be honest. But, uh, 
yeah, I, I think it's going to be, they're going to be good. I have no thoughts on the roster itself because I haven't looked at it, but I do like the name. So. Yeah, he clears your bald uh, idol. All right, moving forward, pool one. If you can spin just for oh, oh, mistake oh, of integrity. It seems, seems we're having some technical difficulties talking about Michael Jordan. Oh, oh. oh Lord. I yeah, hate you. Uh, moving forward, I wonder who it's going to be. Any guesses? Any thoughts? Wait, the CB Diamond team is called CB Gaming. Same you know shit, doesn't matter. It's... Yeah, CB, yeah, exactly. It's, it's, I, thought, it's I actually thought they were called CB Diamond, to be honest. But oh, we're, really? Maybe I don't know. No, that's what I thought, but we can change that later. Moving forward, the CB Gaming roster, that is obviously for org. Joining us here is the last pull one team in Group B. Oh, it's CB Diamond, um, apparently. Oh, it is CB Diamond. Okay, so I wasn't trolling. I don't know why. See, this is why I'm not going to change it real quick. Oh, ready, ready updated? He said CB Diamond. Okay, cool. That's, that's why I thought it was. I thought it was CB Diamond. Moving forward, though, CB Diamond come joining us here uh, with their roster. Um, I'm going to start with Matt here. CB Diamond, an organization CB, I think has had a lot more success in the Diamond ELO as opposed to their plot ELO. I mean, obviously, we have CB Rush, but I really consider CB Rush kind of its own separate org. To be honest, from Rutledge basically, team. it's Rutledge's org. So I don't know if I'm going to attribute that to the CB management, but Marquez, you know, he's very, very, <laughs> no, very, um, what do you call it? Aggressive in getting the signups. I mean, I see this man on looking for players like every server. This dude's <laughs> spamming. Um, so, and I've seen CB honestly do have great success in BOL. You know, coming to CCS, you know, obviously they've had their CB Starlight team. And the last play, I believe they had two CB teams as well uh, in their fall team. Yeah. So back again in CCS. So knowing that, uh, Machi, what are your thoughts on this CB team entering it? Honestly, I haven't really heard about any of these the t players on this team mm -hmm. other than Snoop Dogg. I know Snoop Dogg starts on Zeta, currently playing in Aegis right now. Uh, mm -hmm. I've heard he's a pretty solid player. I've seen him play. Seems pretty smart. Um, other than that, I don't know too, too much about the rest mm -hmm. of their roster. So, but on paper, a couple Masters players, they're, they're high diamond, except for virginity haber 36 <laughs> apparently it's not no doubt is what it is that, that, oh that's no doubt oh, okay. oh, okay. oh, wait okay. what what was that ign virginity <laughs> haber okay, respect I, I mean yeah no doubt he played in our diamond players, tournament man. He, he did play well during it uh he did he, didn't shadow's locked season right yeah then they, they, they won they, they won, won yeah. yeah yeah they won the cs, the CCS champion we gotta put respect on the name that's for, um that's for I think this roster will do well. On paper, they look pretty good. So, I'm, yeah, I'm excited to see. Sultan, any thoughts? Uh, I actually played with two of these players. Mm -hmm. I played with Christian. I played against Snoop Dogg in BOL Diamond, I think, mm -hmm. last year. And, like, now we, we see him on Zeta. And their mid laner is Emad, which is, like, he, oh, he changed his name. He, he changed his name to 9v1 Mad, which, like, uh... He's a really good player. He's a really mechanical player. He likes to like skill check people. That might sometimes go the other way, which is like, that's why I would say it is kind of hard to like estimate how good this team going to be mm -hmm. because I feel like their top and mid, their soul laners can stomp their lanes really hard, but at the same time, one mistake and they're just like out of the game. So again, I, I think like this will be similar to Drought of Gaming Alpha, where it's just going to come down to consistency in solo lanes. And, like, the jungler will just be there to kind of facilitate the solo laners. So, I don't know much info about the bot lane, but he's Masters 83 LP already. And he seems like a Samira player, which makes which means a lot of clip highlights, possibly. Uh, and our wonderful will... host, anything to add on? Before we get back to Matt, sorry. Yeah, I don't who me? Oh, yes. Uh, no, I have nothing to add. Sorry, I I was reading something else. Uh, we can go on to the next pool. I no, Matt, did you have any thoughts or no? I okay. So I didn't know it was Emad. I, I've no, I know Emad from way back in the day, back in the TDR days. He played on one of our teams. <laughs> I think I think I think Emad's a great player. Apparently, already uh, saying it's not Emad though. It, it is okay, not. It's, it's Wait. not Emad. Wait, is it nine v one Mad Emad? Damn, we really caught account sharing live on CCS. All right, well, of course. Um, thank God that's, we got another, that, 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 another, that's, another, that's my bad, then. Another <laughs> waitlisted team on there. It's Aqua Luma, apparently. Oh, Emad. Ooh. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, wait, brothers. Okay. But, 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 when, I, when I saw the champ pool, oh, they just haven't made the roster change. Okay, oh, okay then. I see. Uh, that that makes sense. <laughs> because I was right. going to say his name plus his champ pool. That was like, that's even bad. Like, unfortunately. Live no, roster we, stuff no, coming we, in. We just, caught, we just uh, caught him. On the draw show. <laughs> just, just roster staff slacking. 
Yeah, who would do that? I wonder who to blame. Yeah, huh. Nice, nice <laughs> lights turning on. All right, I think we're going to pool two redacted. Is that correct? That is correct. Let's go to pool right. two. Just to be clear, we have we have drawn a TA team and a dog team. Um, so if those get drawn and we have a group, here? then we will. It should be dog. I don't know why alpha. Why is there actually. one alpha in there? There's tau and alpha. This is scuffed. <laughs> hey, that's play. <laughs> Probably a misplay for him. Um, uh, spin yeah. it regardless, and I'll Just, I think I'll fix I'll fix the team that's on dog alpha there. Should be another roster on there, not dog alpha. So. Just to be clear. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Alright, so present whenever this you're ready, sucks. redacted, then we'll move on. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the missing roster if I did it input correctly. Where's OC Esports? <laughs> oh my oh, no, they're right there. Okay, oh, what's the missing perfect, team, Blade? <laughs> oh well. Look at his face! <laughs> oh my god. That is god. really awkward. Um uh, obviously <laughs> the, <laughs> one team, the one team that Yo, I I'm know. dead! So I think oh. the call here is to respin the wheel oh. as I figure out who I misspelled. Mm. <laughs> so if you could please click close, oh. not remove, and respin yeah, that wheel, that would be phenomenally. Wouldn't it be um, funny if it landed on Dog Alpha again? Yeah, I mean, I, I hope just, it does. I hope it probably does. Still I kind of hope it does too. <laughs> Let me see who am I missing? Nameless. Nameless Goobers. Nameless Goobers. So Nameless Goobers here joining us in to group A uh, with Dog Alpha and Akuma Katanas. I guess Dog Alpha was drawn twice, so they'll be joining uh, them two times. Um, Nameless Googlers, they have Googlers. a very familiar name, but you guys should know, Random Capitals, uh, superstar mid laner for the side, a former star of uh, We Love Solber. Honestly played phenomenal in last fall of last fall and last summer of CCS. He is back. Um, so looking at this Nameless Goobers roster, um, which I don't know where the top laners out there, unless they forgot to submit it. Uh, what do you think of the current thoughts of Nameless Goobers and their chance mm. at CTS here? Fun. I, I, I wouldn't call it fun fact, but I played against these guys in Metashift, I think, uh, a few days ago. Um, if I'm not wrong, like, last Friday. And they did beat my team, but I only played, like, two games in there. And, like, it wasn't really, I did really had a lot to do in that game, but, uh, they seemed like a good team. Uh, especially their... Um, did the, the, their top laner was weak? That like I I don't think their top side was that strong, but especially their mid and bot lane. They, they it's really they have a really strong mid and bot side, I think, and like that is how they're gonna play through top laner. That they had was kind of a kind of a coin flip player, and like he he got stomped by Nodal, which is a uh, the CB Diamond top laner. Mm -hmm. So it kind of depends. I, I think they can perform decently well, um, but they are in the the side of the that they're in the group that I think it's the, the, that has the better top two teams. So that is kind of unfortunate for them, I would say. Awesome. Uh, just quick update. Uh, Dog Alpha should have been Adra Adromeda. Adromeda, excuse me. Um, I don't know if it updated on you or that. If it didn't, and Dog Alpha gets drone, just be clear that is what it's supposed to be. Uh, Wait, who's like, it supposed to be? Uh, it's supposed to be, oh, let's mouth here. Uh, what do you call it? it? They are called Adromeda right after TA Blaze on the Master Chief okay. you see them. Uh, probably what happened was whenever I was copying down more data, the Alpha and Andromeda probably. Oh, Andromeda? Right. Okay. Yeah. So gotcha. That's what it's supposed to be. Um, rigged two times live on stream. Love to see it. <laughs> uh, I just want to say, I just want to say Puff Zone. To puff someone chat, the rats are a tier or a pool four team. You guys suck. Uh, okay, this is that's how to say that real quick. interesting. Uh, Coming from an intermediate and novice player, uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, to be exactly. clear, the rats actually ranked as the last team of everyone solo viewers. <laughs> Did they really? What were their yeah, yeah, the total yeah, points? Yeah, yeah. They're actually the 20th solo queue ranked uh, team. Yep, um, to be so honest, because I, I think Philippi um, is like P4. Philippi being P1. Plot gives you zero points, and everyone else is like at best D2. So like, you know, the, 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 you know, you know that the, oh, there's only one D two, that is like no peak peaks. Oh peaks! Well yeah. then everyone is like D two peaks, no? No, not Philly B. Not, no. Oh, that's, no, that's okay, MVP Philly, Philly, B. Philly B. That's Philly B in the four. Oh, to be honest, words, true. Right? Rowdy Randy. Yeah, that, that alone is like worth name. ten points. But you know. Brothers pool fifty seven. Oh yeah, the next <laughs> pool, right? My fault. Yes. Right. To spin the next I was responding ball. to a DM. Somebody was asking me why their team was in last place and why Moonstone was one on the intermediate league. 
Apparently, they didn't watch the draw show. I'm gonna let you guess who DM'd me. Man, yes. sir, stop DMing him. <laughs> next, next draw, next fucking draw, please. We don't have time, Brad. Esports. <laughs> the Dead Fighting Championship. Lit Esports. My goodness. Lit Esports. Where do we begin? You know, Matt, I'll let you. I'll let you. Okay. This all over here. Lit Esports. Can you uh, put them on the, screen, on the, on the dock, sheet, please? Yeah. Are I? Are, are they like? I, I don't know if that's, they, is that the their problem actual is, roster. They changed their roster like four yeah. times. That's so, the issue. I can't say too too much about them as of right now. I actually think they changed it two hours ago as well. They yeah, did. They, they did. They, they, they changed <laughs> so, it. Hold on. When was it? They changed it like not even two. It was, yeah. It, four eighteen months. So seven eighteen. That's when they changed it last. So we have not. Uh, I can't. We can't really say too much because I haven't really looked at it to be honest. So uh, yeah. They're. Dead botting is back. He played in the diamond tourney last week. Why did he play it uh, like that? The, I, everyone knows why. The, the I know. It's just the way you said it. Go ahead. Continue. Continue. Uh, dead botting is back. Uh, yeah, with whatever. with Living Phoenix, by the way, his support. Well, we support don't know. Spread. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't looked you know, at it. If so it can't tomorrow, say it could be something completely different, right? And we have to. We, we just yeah. go next team, honestly. I can't say. Oh. All right. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Literally yeah. next team because Lit Esports is having roster troubles yeah. that we're trying to resolve. Um, right. Speaking of it, just again to clarify, Dog Alpha is a drama for teams at home. Here we're gonna spin again, Mr. Redacted. O C. O C Esports. Join us in Group A. Coming into the CCS, uh, O C Esports actually has. You know, current in their roster here, very new addition. I believe they're actually a collegiate team. Um, you know, collegiate teams obviously usually bring in completely new players, not really in the amateur scene, completely different. Uh, Dravoon, T4 Tempo, Shashi, as you usually see in Project Panda. Uh, I don't, I'm not really familiar with any of these names and really any of the Diamond Leagues, BOL, Aegis, or CCS. Um, Sultan, any familiar with this roster at all? This is a collegiate team. Uh, I forgot what college it is exactly. I have to double check the app, but there's uh -huh. one of the collegiate teams coming in. I don't know. I play college shit, but I haven't played against them. But mm -hmm. I guess, like, I'm not really familiar with the players. But uh, looking, like, judging from solo queue, they they have like pretty like normal champion pools actually for like a, like supports. That they just play the yeah. yeah. They just play whatever it's meta kind of. It's just like so. I I, I feel like they will come in and kind of be that. Okay, the rather than playing like seeing them as specific players this is like more of a team play maybe oriented i think that's how like collegiate teams are mostly playing they have like coaches and analysts sometimes i don't know about that specific college but you know it might be something like that if i had to bet just to be clear uh, it is oklahoma christian university is the actual college name for any uh clarification matchy any thoughts on oklahoma christian here joining the ccs uh, I don't really know. I think Barn, I think T for Tempo is, is one of his accounts, Barnes or something. I, he's, I've seen him in other discords and stuff mm -hmm. like that. He's played in other leagues. Um, yeah, it's, I've heard, he seems like a solid player on paper, multiple diamond accounts, everything like that. Uh, and yeah, the rest of the team just kind of looks like mid diamond average level. So probably fair enough to be a pool two or pool two team. So yeah. I think we'll do fine. Yeah, awesome. Feel free to draw the next group here in Group B. The next group in Group B? The next the team next in team. Group B. Listen, man. Yeah, I, I, I'm, a, I'm like three hours of sleep, okay? <laughs> it's I'm been a long day. day. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. oh, it is Dogtown. Oh, yeah, it is Dogtown. Wait, they Okay, they should be in Group B, right? Well, they have to be. They have to be. But, but they also yeah, got to draw in Group B, which makes yeah, it a lot easier for us yeah. to do. Dog. Tao, Tao, how do you oh, it's Tao. Tao. Oh. Well, Tao comes in with some familiar names, actually. A wild the iconic Ascendance roster. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And a lot of A, Scorpio, Arch, Itchy Rat. Uh, hopefully not any roster changes that happened recently that confirmed that. But pretty familiar with the Iconic Ascendance roster. Had a really banger Game 5 series last year in CCS round on playoffs. Obviously had, you know, they lost their core, I guess, player last one in CCS beginning of the season. And now they come back again, back in Dorado. These iconic players coming forward. Uh, Matt, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, on this team? Uh, yeah. So, Dorado Gaming Tau, 
I believe some of these players have been playing together for a good amount of time. I'm, I've seen Arch and uh, Itchy Rat play together for a while. I think Arch is a really mm -hmm. good AD carry. Uh, and Zohair and Wild Terry, uh, I think they're both really solid players. I've seen them play a couple times just from watching. Uh, I, I think it's like it's one of those things where it's like when they play well, it just looks effortless for them. So uh, I can see this team doing a lot. I have the, these guys as uh, top three, at least, of mm -hmm. all the teams. So I, I think they're going to be definitely a team to look out for. Salt any thoughts? Um, I feel like this team is really close to Dog Alpha. And like when you look at it from a skill, I, I heard really good things about Arch and Zohair. Um, like Ichirad, I think I've heard his name as well. I think it's just Wild Terry and Scorpio. Although I've heard that they've been in the scene, I, I, I haven't really seen them play at all. So that is kind of like the wild card uh, thing about this team. But I, I feel like they just have a really solid roster that can probably just match tier one teams easily. I already gave my opinion on this team earlier on the podcast. I think. I put them actually above Alpha just because I saw the iconic roster uh, last split. Um, I think three of the, I swear, either three or four of those players are from the I iconic mean, team. Only two, but I could be wrong. Um, I, I, I could also just be a schizo. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Arch, that name looks familiar, but I know yeah. um, Rat and the Jungle Zohair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were definitely on that team. So uh, I think I think Omega Super Sub. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Tao is going to be a pretty good team, but, you know, we'll see. All right, moving forward here. Uh, we got, what, four teams left? Yeah. Uh, USC JV, TA Blaze, uh, not Dog Alpha, uh, I guess Oversoul. Andrano, Andrano. Andrano, which is Oversoul. Their name Oversoul. is Bing Chillers. Is Bing Chillers? Uh, oh, no, this is BCS Younglings Kittens. By yeah, Younglings Kittens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Younglings Kittens. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, and it's them. Um, Younglings Kittens. Joining us in Group A. You got to say the um, whole name, man. Bing <laughs> Chillers joining us in Group A. Stet, Mouse Dixie, Kaiser, Youngling, or a Murderer. Uh, Kaiser is a very well-known name here in CCS. Played last MVP. Play in uh, played on Horizon as well. Finally making his debut in CCS Masters, I guess per se here, with the side of Bing Chillers. Coming in as well with Oreo Murder, another well-known name here in CCS. Uh, both of those players join from Step, now Tixie and Younglin to make this Bing Chillers roster. And I'm actually going to carry over to Matchy, someone who does know Bing Chillers fairly well. What are your thoughts on this roster as they're drawn into Group A? Yeah, uh, I think this roster is like definitely really solid i think they're gonna do really well uh now Sixy, he's a really really good jungler uh just from seeing these guys play uh it looks like they're meshing together really well um oreo i played with in vrs i played with in ccs i really enjoyed he's really smart about the game i all praise for oreo and uh stat and young one i'm not too i don't know too too much about them but they seem solid uh stat played for cb starlight last split so Hopefully he has a little bit more help than this foot than last one. So, and then Kaiser, of course, really mm -hmm. good utility player. It's he's one of the most solid mids I've played with. So I'm I'm looking forward to, to seeing these guys play. Sultan, any thoughts? Um, I don't know a lot about these players other than Kaiser, who I played with on mm -hmm. Horizon. I feel like he's been taking a, more of a utility mid laner role, but when I was playing with him, he was just like he used to play really well Vladimir as well as like other tra uh, other um, champions mm -hmm. so maybe with the with this team I don't know how, how this team plays like what type of play style do they, ha they have but maybe Kaiser can like kind of break out of that utility mid laner role and then just kind of start popping off a little bit Kaiser on some carries <laughs> I mean Vygar's a carry though true I guess I guess to move on to our <laughs> Well, I guess like a second or third to last team being drawn. I remember. Uh, I think TA team is left. They can't be drawn in this group. So if that happens, it happens. USC, the Trojans. Which means we actually know what the draw is going to be. Math default because where yeah. TA has to be. So we will still spin. Just to Why? get back to the other screen. But anyway, well, in that case, we actually know what the draw. For so we can actually put it. USC, USC, JV has to be in group B because of a drawn. TA. What team is it? What TA team is this? Blaze. 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 Blaze.
because they cannot be in Group A, which means Oversoul, if I remember correctly, is that not Oversoul, it's, uh, God, what is it? They changed Oversoul. their name, James. You said Oversoul. Oh, it is Oversoul, yeah. Oversoul has to be in Group B. So, technically, free draws done at once because of the USG stuff. Um, You can just spin it to remove them. So, we'll just do this real quick just to have them out of the way. And meanwhile, USC joining the CCS in Group B, TA Blaze joining us in Group A, and Oversoul in Group B. Uh, Matt, which one of these three teams do you want to talk about initially? Uh, to start it off with. I will start. I will talk about TA Blaze. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the uh, one of the CCS legends who's in the comp ruling, <laughs> the Hall of Fame. Yeah, the, the Hall of Fame. Right. Blocks, Mr. The three little blocks, words. <laughs> three little words. My son Lobax, all the 2 a.m. flex <laughs> games we played. Uh, I honestly though, I, I think this roster actually looks pretty solid. Toy, uh, he's been around comp for a while. I've seen him ever. I think I've played against him like once or twice. I don't know, but I think he's a really good player. I've seen him in AML. Uh, I don't really know too too much about their solo laners or their ADCs, mm -hmm. but on paper, uh, Masters ADC, uh, their mid laner looks pretty solid, and then top laner as well. I believe he's like a Masters player with pretty high win rate. But yeah, uh, and then Lobax, of course. He's on <laughs> and there's <Lobax. laughs> Then there's Lobax. He, he'll, he's along for the ride. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually excited to see how this team does. I, I honestly have them over a couple of the um, pool one teams. To be honest. Are you saying, a, group are A is looking a little stacker. I'm not yeah, going to lie. Yeah, Group A is looking kind of hard. So, uh, Matt G, you're saying Lobax is going to play a utility jungler, jungler man, and a carry you, jungle matter right now, right? Lobax hey, hopefully. Get, yeah, hopefully. Well, let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Lobax is he's, he's lucky he's even on this team, I think. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that, uh, but yeah, I honestly have them over both of the Group B Pool One teams, mm -hmm. uh, the CA Blaze team. I think they're actually going to be really solid. Uh, I could see them a top four finish for sure. Salt, any thoughts on his TA team? Um. Uh, I, I know HTK is a player on this squad, not really anyone else. He he tends to, when the jungler is playing towards him, he, he can kind of turns into that 1v9 ma machine. He's like a Fiora main. Like, the, he plays those split, uh, like, uh, split push champions really well. Like, he's a really big fan of uh, Hulbreaker champions, and he builds Hulbreaker on almost every single champion, at least he used to. So, yeah, I think... With that addition to top lane, I think they might be, again, like, I, I feel like this team is better than Team Nebula. I feel like they also deserve, like, a tier 1 pool spot, but unfortunately, only one of them can have it, so. Yeah, I mean, this was a team that was close up there. Um, One second, moving, moving forward, sorry about that. Uh, it's obviously very interesting. This Group A is already looking stacked. We'll talk about the states of the group afterwards, but first, we got the USC and Oversol. Two teams that I don't really have too much experience with. Uh, USC and our collegiate team. Collegiate team is always pretty interesting. Um, and then obviously... Why? Why are they interesting? Why? Yeah. Uh, only because collegiately lens and amateur lens is quite different. Um, depending on the level of school. I mean, this is a JV team. I'm not sure if sponsor, uh, scholarships are involved with said school. Some of the bigger programs usually are, are able to fill multiple teams. That doesn't mean that their lower level teams have scholarships involved. Um, but when you are in a collegiate program, it, in theory should be a bit more structured, but what they want is different from amateur. I actually think a lot of the amateur orgs do a better job of cultivating talent and understanding what works here opposed to the collegiate teams. Um, so a lot of times the collegiate teams don't exactly perform up the par, but USC, JV, Oversoul, any thoughts on them? Salted, both very unknown teams to be quite honest with you. Not a lot of at least input for me initially seeing. Uh, I think like, again, as you said, it's just like not, not much information. It will be, I think th this split in general, not a, not a specifically only this team, but I think there's a lot of teams here where community in general doesn't know a lot about. There's a lot mm -hmm. of players that can be like show up and just be like, oh, this guy is actually good, but we didn't know about him much. I feel like going into like week two, week three, I think a lot of things will be more like kind of set in stone. But for now, they're just like on paper, decent teams. Mm -hmm. uh, thoughts from that matchy again. I don't know. I, I, don't know I don't know too much about them. It's with all. I don't really know Diamond too too well. Players wise, mm -hmm. I'm kind of you know recognizing some people, but uh, it's it's one of those things where it's like you have these collegiate teams coming in. Don't know too much about them. They could be really good in collegiate, and we just don't mm -hmm. know that. And yeah, I'm excited to see. I think collegiate kind of is whatever. 
tell you what, yeah, it, it, it really depends on like yeah it's... where you're playing yeah. I mean, there's some really good collegiate teams I and mean, there's some, there's some less than optimal collegiate teams i think like really the strength depends i think it's yeah i mean i really do think collegiate tends to be a very um top heavy structure yeah. the ones that are good are good but everyone else is just kind of well, like the ones that are good have challengers and then ones yeah. that oh, are mid are like even, i mean even in like terms of other elite. oh okay Fair. all right currently before we go into pool three which we have eight teams there as well um initial thoughts on group a here from sultan well i feel like this is uh this is a i feel like this is a harder group than group b it's just like I, I feel like they have the better ta team they have two of the best pool one teams um nameless goobers and bing chillers can be like kind of the underdogs against these like pool one teams they they, they have the kind of the potential to get an upset win over those things teams on the other side i think it's just a lot of teams that we're not sure how they're gonna perform like they they have the ceiling but i feel like how many of them will be able to reach that ceiling i'm not sure uh matchy thoughts on group a and group b so far i think group a is stacked in comparison to group b uh, the wheels elite. What can I say? The, the wheels wheel is elite. Ball. All I'm saying, last split, people, you know, they could have doubted us, saying, "Hey, it's like Group A, Group B. You guys picked that." No, it's the wheel. We're, we're proving it right now. We I'm really proving, did not pick that. It. The wheel was going crazy in that Discord call. Like, I wish. I you know what? You know what I love. You know what I. You way. know what I love best about the wheel too. Low mm -hmm. boxes in Group A with with yeah. no attack. <laughs> I'm ready for for low box versus ready. That's we're streaming <laughs> that game. <laughs> yeah, we are not streaming that game. Right, yes, we ready? are. We're, we're, we're not, not streaming so group... 9th versus 10th. <laughs> right, we'll Flay, can you put group of death in uh, quotation marks over A and group of life well, we have, over B? We have to see pool 3 first. Cause if you're, right, you're right, you're right. If, right. if pool 3, if all the Mickey Mouse teams from pool 3 go to group A, then like, we know who's going to the playoffs. Like, it doesn't really matter, right? Speaking of pool 3, the teams are Vapor, <laughs> uh, NWE Penguins, Vapor TDK Resonance, right? Yes. Uh, Crabs, Mint Gaming, the Rats, which were the lowest ranked team in CCS. Horizon Gaming uh, Rats. <laughs> get, get the lowest ranked right. team in CCS. Rochester Esports and Comfy Gaming Shield are joining us in Pool Frame. Redacted, whenever you're ready. Bam. You have, Eric, you have a worst ranked team in CCS. If you guys make playoffs, I will give you a dollar. We were supposed to be that last year too, no? Yeah, he did, and I didn't know you Well, well, we started to, we started to. Anyway, TDK Blue. Oh, Matchy, uh, thoughts <laughs> on TDK Blue here joining Group A. Uh, one of the weaker pool free teams, at least based on social rankings. But we joining a Group A here, maybe giving some parity, some life for the top teams. Any thoughts mm -hmm. on the roster? Uh, TDK is the TDR rebrand uh, from, I don't know how long ago that was. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, these guys have been a team, I believe it was Imperial Knights. Mm -hmm. Blue, white, probably blue. Mm -hmm. um, they've been a team for a while, I think, and I know they've done pretty well for themselves, at least playing in some other leagues. Like, I think they played in Sally Sports or something. Uh, but yeah, like looking on paper, it's like they all were diamond last season or last couple seasons. Uh, I will see what they bring. Uh, I have looked. Dude, I look at screenshots of post games sometimes, and I've seen some weird things that they draft. I won't say anything, but <laughs> but like they, they got some weird pocket picks that they're ready to pull out. So I'm excited to see them play. They're gonna and, need uh, it in this group, man. Yeah, and in, in Group A, they're in the they're in the group of death right now. So <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, thoughts from you, Sultan? Um, not really. I don't really know these players, but uh, I guess the, it, it is hard to make just. The uh, prediction, like they do have a one high elo player, I guess that would that is like last season masters right now D one. So I'm assuming they're just going to be like a bot lane focused team with a. Uh, it's kind of like that ADC trying to be that one v nine player. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's like only thing that I can say. Not you. Well, back being redacted. If you don't have any thoughts yourself, you feel free to spin the wheel again. The groups yeah. are almost ready to be drawn. I don't know too much about TDK Blue, so good luck to you, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That wasn't troll. Oh, no. <laughs> the rats are in the group of life. Oh, hell. Hey, y'all dodged a bullet, Sultan. You Sultan, can't even I'll cap. You. you can't even cap, right? Come on. Uh
give your okay. give your skill of your team. Horizon okay, Gaming Rats, okay, by the okay, way. Okay, Make okay, sure okay. you put Horizon I, Gaming I, Rats okay, on the standings, okay. play. As I okay, I said this in the podcast, and I think a lot of people maybe missed it, maybe were not here. So this Rats team was in uh, CCS Diamond last season. We didn't make playoffs. That is that is a given thing, but we did start 2-0. And we beat the team who made it to playoffs and I think went to even semifinals. The only issue was oh, yeah, me, us. Yeah. Me, me being a uh, Turkish citizen, I was in Turkey during summer, um, during the holidays. So I played 160 ping and we were still 2-0. The only issue was I wasn't able to play after a while. We had Philly B being uh, working and he wasn't able to make well one of the series as well. So because of that, we lost the the next four series which, without uh, having our starting lineup. But with our starting lineup, we were undefeated. So what yeah. I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is, I think, especially in a team, in a group that you guys are saying, group of life, I, I think we should be able to make playoffs. I, I believe in my team. We've been scrimming and we've been having actually decent success in scrims and while even playing against like decently, like decent ELO teams. So... I All believe right, in Matt, my team, you know? What are your thoughts? <laughs> Please say I'll, cool. be as, I'll be as nice as possible. Uh, I, I, honestly, I, 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 anything is possible. Uh, you know, I, 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 you can. I think that group uh, is, honestly, it, it, it's, it's the group of life. You, you can just say it. It, it, it worked out it's for you. It's significantly weaker, actually, right now, to be honest. Uh, it, it is, yeah. So, I think you guys can make playoffs. Uh, how far you get in playoffs we'll see um but yeah I, I wish you guys luck i think your bot lane's pretty good alberic and uh Zanzarte. Zanzarte, or however you say it uh, i think your bot lane's pretty good uh but yeah we'll 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 see i, I wish you guys the best rats man i I'm, I'm excited for y'all like i love watching your team you know obviously i know zone i know i actually know like all your team members except for um your new, new support, support now yeah yeah, like I even casted in Philly B's league back when there was the Philly B league. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited to see what you guys do. Um, I know we meme and everything, but um, yeah, like honestly, take take the blessing that you're in Group B. <laughs> no, for real, like there's nothing yeah, wrong with that because the, the 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 goal at the end of the day, right, is to get to playoffs. And then yep. anything is possible from there. These guys are the wizards of CCS, man. The goal every split is to lose in the first round. Get out of here. Next draw, please. <laughs> Oh my Not God. like the elite Raptors. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, else, nothing elite about that team this year. <laughs> penguins. Va Penguins. Joining us here. Actually, did your did your wheel update? I don't know if you're I don't think you're Oh your wheel did not update with the two sponsors. You feel free after this to add UR Esports and Comfy Gaming Shield. Um but wait, so this wheel? wheel? Yes, this wheel is not updated. How do I do that? Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. Oh, uh, moving forward. I, I know how to figure it out. Moving forward. Penguins joining new us in Group A. Um, thoughts on that? Penguins joining us in Group A. I'll start with Sultan here. Uh, any opinion on this NWE Penguins team? Uh, they have Mansu, who's actually a very recognizable name. Minatsu? Minatsu, yeah. Recognizable name from BOL. Yeah. Uh, besides that, uh, what else are your thoughts on this Penguins team? Um... I, like ma the the main p person I know is also the uh, Manatsu here. He has been like pretty decent performer actually. He just like he's really well. He, he plays his control mages really well, and he's just like that solid mid laner that you don't need to worry about a mid lane that that will like oh he's not going to call a coin flip and lose you the game. Same thing for their jungler as well. He just uh, looks like he plays um. Uh, be like with ear and stuff and a top laner is also like a tank player So but I'm just assuming this is going to be like one of those but every draft is going to be like okay solid tankish top laner yeah. Just like it with ear Hecarim something like that in jungle control mage mid So this team I, I feel like they're going to be one of those teams where if you're really good You're going to beat them, but if you're not up to par You're just gonna get demolished because of their like just really the straight out laid out uh, mm -hmm. team comps <laughs> Foreman in the chat here, uh, Penguins owner, I believe, going the, and I quote, the let's fucking go in chat. Uh, Penguins, unfortunately, 
are joining the group of death, so can you put their whole acronym on the standings, please? You know what? They deserve it. They're gonna have to. They're gonna. They're fighting put some for their lives every on week. Our, put some respect on our teams. All right. They're, they're fighting for our lives every week. You gotta put them NWE. Matchy, any thoughts on the Penguins as they join? Ah. Uh... Very tough group A. Group A is a hard group. Um, I haven't really seen these players play before. I know Minatsu because BOL, he made like the Minatsu mag or whatever. He did. He did. Magazine. Well yeah. known I, I respect that. Uh, <laughs> he's got to do some stuff for CCS. Uh, but yeah, I, I, yeah, honestly, uh, we're cleared. Um, I don't know too much about them, so we'll have to see. Uh, they're in a hard group, so they're going to have to perform. No, for sure. And I mean, yeah. their group is for Katanas, Nameless, Chillers, Blaze, TDK, yeah. OCE Esports. I mean, we can already say at least most of these teams are going to be very good. But I've seen them in other leagues before, in PRL actually. And they've done pretty well in PRL. I think I've also seen them in BOL. Um, I guess some of the, not really in Aegis and CCS. Maybe they have an Aegis, but I haven't seen them in CCS. So we'll see how they do. Moving forward, the updated wheel <laughs> has been coming on. Definitely not rigged, by the way. We will be spinning. The next one of our five remaining teams. Today I learned I cannot count, by the way. If anyone was wondering. Nor can you edit wheels once they're made. <laughs> Nor can I do a lot of things, apparently. Mint is the group drawn here. Yes. Oh, this is not the... Mint. Mint Rocky Road, right? Rocky Road, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mint okay. Rocky yeah. Road. Now, I do know Foya. Uh, some of these other players are a bit less known. Uh, I'm sort of Matt G here. What are your thoughts on this Mint Rocky Road team coming in? I think Mint Rocky Road is actually pretty well-known Victorious. I don't know if it's a similar roster okay. or that one, but they're coming into CCS now. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I know I recognize two of their players. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I think they have some roster changes or something, so I don't know if that's 100% mm -hmm. accurate. But uh, I know Foya and Reno Turbo both played on the BDE roster and Aegis last split in APL. And they made it, I believe, to semifinals where they lost to CB Rush. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I know Foya high diamond player he's a solid ad carry and same with Brenner turbo so uh i think those two are good carries um we'll see what the rest of their team's looking like so i, I think they'll be a good team as well but it, again they got drawn into group b so yes. it is a easier group in my opinion so i'm sure they can make playoffs it group b for me is so far if you're in one of the bottom four teams you can definitely make playoffs and yeah i was actually asked this all to know do you currently think the two teams drawn in group b from the pool for teams are better than the ones in group a right now or no i'm trying to see if the groups are even and out from your perspective oh uh, you mean like pool three wise yeah so like horizon mint rock road you think they're better than tdk and nwe i would I say so. so but like i played against mint rocky road and um i think it was like uh earlier last season and it wasn't uh bad uh like did we beat them but i don't remember them as like specifically like bad so I, I would say, although having no experience against TDK Blue and Penguins, I would say like our, the bot side, the bottom four of Group B is looking a bit better. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Group B was Mickey Mouse. You know, whoever whoever <laughs> said that was fucking ball. All right, All right next last wheel. four. Ne yes, yeah, sir. last four. Who, gonna... Who is it going to? Be vapor, vapor. Resonant. vapor wave resonance yes that is their full name let me get that out here and type it up vapor <laughs> resonance um was there vapor a wave uh, vapor wave excuse me as you can see i'm gonna put vapor wave here because it doesn't, doesn't it's not big enough to resonance right now i'll fix that in a bit uh, actually there i think the other team actually dropped out so i think one yeah yeah my favorite right. wave. um sultan what do you want about this vapor wave org i feel like there's a new org i haven't heard oh. of them in any other league i don't know if you know anything about them uh thoughts on this roster and its organization I've heard them. I'm, so what I heard about them is mainly <laughs> from Zero Two, which is their sub uh, oh. in this league. Which wait, is, what? Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, Hika 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 yeah, Hikaku Uchicha. Uchi Uchi He's Uchi for this. Yes. Yeah, so so I I think he was the starting AD, but then he took a sub spot afterwards. Zero oh. Two, man, you just find a way to keep living. You know what? I gotta give you props, bro. Like, Bitch. Like, I can see him, maybe, if the He's team... Resilient. Like, being in Group A and, like, being a top bottom four team, they might have a rough start. So, I might even see, like, we might see Zero Two, maybe, like, them giving a shot at Zero Two as well. Um, other than that, I heard that they're decent. I, I don't think they would be, like, like underdog title contenders, 
but their their jungler is GM right now. <laughs> it's I think their jungler ranked himself out. So. Yeah, it's a very. So <laughs> that's what I was gonna say today, actually, which is very. That's funny. what I was gonna say. Like, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe if he didn't rank out, like having a GM jungle to that level, that that might just bring the team like to there. But that's why I said, okay, this this team might be doomed because. 380 390 LP. I feel like that is a little above the. Yeah, <laughs> a little above the. I, 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 I pulled. I just pulled up their OPG and I messaged play, and I'm like, Hey, yeah, this guy yeah. Just ranked himself out. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, interesting. We're, we're gonna, uh, uh, I, I, I feel, I feel, I feel that like that's out. going to uh, be an issue for this team because, for me, your highest elo player, especially in jungle, that you'd normally play around that guy. Whatever that guy does, like kind of is what like what your t uh, team is playing around and uh like the losing him and the, the before the right before the split starts literally yeah that is that is a bummer move which so yeah uh about this team we're gonna have to figure something out so uh, we'll <laughs> so yeah so that could potentially be a another waitlist team that we have on guard so it could may not be wave vapor obviously it depends if they want to replace your jungler that's completely different but um they did have another roster but yeah it looks like their jungler ranked themselves out uh, approximately 10 hours ago, actually. I so, can't. this is <laughs> so very, I very, can't. very recent. So, you know, you know, this is maybe it's a lesson the Elo's a better, you know? Yeah, Moving forward, the right. next. <laughs> next hey, you like ready. You like ready. <laughs> we at the CCS do not condone Elo City. Yeah, be like Magi, Elo City for novice. All right, spin. Exactly, yes, sir. <laughs> the Crabs Radiant. The Crabs Radiant joining Group B here. Um, Another not very well known team to my knowledge. I could be wrong. Uh, any thoughts on them, Matchy? If you're anything like Crabs Radiant, I believe it's just a five man roster. I don't know if it's like a friends roster or not, but any uh, thoughts on these players? What is their absolute? I mean, they're junglers, high or low masters, 78 LP. Uh, it's, <laughs> it looks like they're they're kind of like D1, D3, kind of mm -hmm. that, that low diamond average, kind of a or high diamond average, sorry, across the board here. Uh, We'll have to see how they play. Um, they are definitely a, a pool four team or pool three, sorry. So, wow, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, made a new pool just for them. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll see how they do. Uh, they get drafted into the group B. So again, it's the group of life. They do have a chance in comparison to say this group A. So yeah, best of luck to them, to be honest. Uh, and good luck. <laughs> Sultan, any thoughts on that? Mm, not really. I, I think this is where my knowledge gets really narrow. Yeah, he's like about the teams. teams. Not much about. All right. Well, we can move There's on to the next the team. The, barrel, group the last two. Time, excuse me. Yep. Last two. Who's left? It is um Comfy and you are right. Yep. Which is Rochester. Rochester. Uni Rochester. Rochester. Okay, University of Rochester. Speaking of University of Rochester, um, they will be joining Group A. Uh, fairly strong team actually look initial and they're probably one of the stronger pool four teams but you are esports university of roster for esports we'll be dreaming group a uh they let's come in we're rounding up the final of group a sultan what are your thoughts on this another university team I know we talked about usc jv earlier uh any thoughts on this team joining another one in oc esports and uh, oklahoma christian so it's like two U of a university teams in the same group um i think uh, I think they're decent. Uh, like again, university teams, they, they 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 might just like open up later into the split because um, they will be like permanently playing with each other in different things like um, NECC or like like CLOL because they they're gonna get more games in official games in. They might mm -hmm. uh, be just get better throughout the split. But uh, yeah, so I, I feel like that's what I'm thinking. Not many thoughts on this team. I don't really know. Their jungler seems to poopy though, which is. Just, just like, oh wow! He's got poopy in the jungle. So no. yeah, we'll see. Uh, I don't know. They, it's they're definitely the last there. team. So. Which actually has a, a known. I think Spy Five Hundred played the last one in CCS. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, he was on We Love Sober, right? No. No, he was on RTM. Oh, RTM. I think, yes. I think you're yes, wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Am, I, am I wrong? I don't know. That name sounds familiar, though. It like is definitely former former CCS player for sure. Comfy Shield, rounding up Group B. I'm gonna look at it. Um, I'm check. 
while you guys check. Salton, do you have any thoughts on these players while these guys check this? Because I'm pretty sure Spy Five did play in CCS last but He did. Uh, I think yeah. so. I would say. But like, oh, yeah, he was on our team. My fault. Uh, the rest of the teams, I, I haven't really seen them, like the at least the players. Mm -hmm. But they again, they have two masters players, current master players, which is like their like peak, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, so you know that, that's always good. They do have a plot mid laner that has low amount of games. Like they, I, th I feel like their team can actually they might all hit masters towards the end of the split. So like solo queue wise, they they, they don't look bad. It. And again, I, I it, as we said, it's just like Group B's top bottom four looks actually decently strong. So it will be interesting to have this team as well in our group. Yeah, I mean, that kind of helps Group B a lot. Uh, I do agree that at least it looks like right now, just with the fact that Vaporwave's best player is just ineligible, that uh, Group B's pool free seeds basically hit probably the better side of Group A. I mean, obviously we had Horizon Rats, who is the lowest solo key ranking, but they are better than their solo queue ranking. I want to specify, I know that I was meeting mm. them earlier, but they are, well, they have the worst solo queue ranking of any team. And in my opinion, they're definitely a pool for your seed team. They're, you know, they're, they're striving. The rats, man. They're, they're striving to lose in the first round, right? That's the goal of the team, right? To have to <laughs> lose in the first round. Well, that may be true. They're they're not, you know, I don't think they're an 0-9. Wait, right? has Fuff Zone, has uh, P Hub Zone ever made it past the first round? Yes. He, he, he made it to like semis. He's a former second round exit consistently. Yep. Oh, okay. Both, both time he gets here, he gets swept. He's a Damian Lillard of CCS, man. That's what he is. <laughs> anyway, so the groups are finished. They are drawn. They are done. The schedule will come out in about 30 minutes, an hour, pretty recently. You guys will all get pinged. Don't worry. Um, for this Friday's game, um, obviously a couple days away. Obviously, the announcement coming, you guys know. Anything wrong with your rosters, please ping us. We will fix it. We will make sure everything's updated by Wednesday, Thursday. So it's good on Friday. Usually, the beginning is always the hardest because people are making roster change, etc. The normal day for your roster apps is usually Wednesday, but usually give people great spirit to Thursday in the first week, just due to the fact that everything comes out. Uh, uh, before we go, I'm going to ask Matt, uh, currently your thoughts on your group A's group B, your predictions, your thoughts, who's making it out of the playoffs, who's making a deep run. I guess, we'll start with, I guess we'll start with group A first. Yeah. All group that. A, okay. It's like top three in group A. Top three in two group A, who's going to make playoffs, and what's your like big surprise? Uh, so group A, uh, I have Dog Alpha going first, TA Blaze mm -hmm. going second, Bing Chiller is going third, and mm -hmm. then that's where it kind of, after that, it kind of, kind of, uh, it's a little harder to say. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, honestly, the most, or the team that's probably going to surprise most teams is, is, I feel like it's Bing Chillers. I feel like they're probably going to get rated pretty low just from two of their players mm -hmm. just coming from Plot Leagues and Oreo and Kaiser. And, uh, but I think this team's really solid with Al Stixie mm -hmm. as well. He's a really good jungler. I'm pretty sure he won an Aegis League, a DL at some point, if I'm not wrong. Another Mickey Mouse League. True, but they'd sadly clear us. They have like double our also stream true. numbers right now. Uh, I mean, does he know where that is? Worried, worried that's right. Who's going to tell him? <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, and then Group B, it's kind of like, it's, I think Tau's going to go first, Nebula's going to sec go second. I do think Horizon, uh, I think they will make playoffs after seeing this group. Look at that, uh, he has fate. <laughs> I, for I group B, you know, like Yeah, for Group B, I think he's going to make playoffs. Uh, and then, you yeah, know, honestly, it's... You know, Vera Consultant, we trust. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that team making playoffs is like, you know, you don't remember it was like Orlando Magic teams that used to finish in 8th place, like win like 35 games in like a really bad Eastern <laughs> Conference. You're talking about the Eastern like Conference lot. teams that be below 500 but still yeah, make playoffs? Like, they're going to win like 35 <laughs> games out of 82, you know, like a 40% win rate. You're know, pretty, pretty dog if you're being honest. And they're going to have the privilege Damn, of losing to like, they're going to have the privilege of losing to like, I don't know, dog 2 in the first round, 3-0. And they're going to pack it up and see successful split. That's where that, that team is. So I can definitely see it, Matt. I definitely can. Uh, yeah, any yeah. call to your top 3 for Group E though? I know, Paul. Top three for Group B: uh, Tau, CB Diamond, then TA Nebula. Okay, and then any surprise? Any team? So of the top six, obviously projected would this be our like projected top six teams or both groups in no particular order? Um, do you think any of those tick top six teams was the most likely to drop and not make playoffs? Mm. For both Group A and Group. Uh, who's this? I could see OC not making it. Um, okay. And then I could also from Group B. Uh, 
Sports. Honestly, I'm gonna say Lady Sports Red because who knows what their roster is? God, I don't think they that, know what the roster is. That, that's, that's, that's fair to say. That's fair to that say. That is very fair to say. Sultan, what are your thoughts? Uh, your top three for both groups. Your surprise oh. stories, and then who you think is most likely from top six teams to not do the playoffs. Okay. Uh, well, for Group A, I would say my top teams, Dog Alpha. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. I'll go TA Blaze, Dog Alpha, okay. Akuma Katanas, Bing Chillers, Nameless, and then OC Sports. So you don't think any of the top six teams are going to drop down? Nope, I don't think so. Like, or, or there shouldn't be any mm -hmm. uh, from my expectations. The surprise team, if I had to pick one, uh, to be honest, I don't think there's there will be any surprises. The surprise maybe might be like Bing Chillers getting into top two. Okay. For me. For Group B, I think it's like, um, let's see, Dog Tao, um, mm -hmm. CB Diamond, TA Nebula, Lit Red, Rats, and then Oversoul. Mm -hmm. Into US UCG JV. Do you think USC is not making playoffs? Yeah. Okay. And uh, for for my surprise, maybe Mint Gaming Rocky Road, Ooh, especially yeah, make, uh, make playoffs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask us for Redacted as well here. Um, you know who who do you think Redacted for both these groups? Your any thoughts you have? Um, uh, my top three, surprise, etc. Yeah. Any thoughts you have? Yeah, no, um, yeah, Group A definitely just looks like the very much harder group. Um, I haven't looked at rosters as depth in depth as mm -hmm. y'all, but from what I already know of some of these rosters, uh, top three. Um, let's go Akuma Alpha Bing. Um, and then for group B, let's see. It's so Mickey Mouse. <laughs> uh, CB. Rats. Nebula. Those are my top three for group B. Because it's oh literally. Oh my. Yeah. I, 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 I put some faith in you, Sultan. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, You're I'm welcome. never asking this guy. Never question it again. All right. Besides hey. that, we need uh, Corin. I'm the not an analyst for a reason. Flash now ask, um, is who do you predict to win the split before we log off and have a great night's sleep? Why I need it. Well, I'm not logging off, but the rest of you. <sighs> well, you go first, Blake. Oh, me? Who the yeah. is gonna win? Um, I mean, it's the DCS for a reason. I'm gonna play it. Say, say, Dog Alpha defends their title and wins DCS the split. Wait, what do you mean defend their title? Dog Alpha did They are win. the successor, technically speaking. If any team is a successor of Zeta, it would be them. Okay. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Matchy, your thoughts? All right. There's one team I can say is going to win it all. I am not ball. paid to do this. You do not know ball. TA Blaze is oh, winning hell, no. this is really low cool. backs mvp <laughs> season i'm calling it right oh, now no. he's got a one three nine on shot low backs future ccs advanced mvp in my Man, eyes me group wins, a he wins first CCS mvp play, the server. enough i promise first team I promise. or group a first team jungler it's happening mark my words hmm narrator it is not happening sultan <laughs> what are your thoughts on who's gonna win ccs this split? rats <laughs> okay what are your actual thoughts who's gonna win <laughs> oh <laughs> just, we can win what okay can, right. I, can i can i cope a little bit with that thank you everyone for joining oh. us on the ccs draw show the two groups are drawn and there's a quite longer split than last but it's actually a nine week regular season with four weeks of playoffs it's 13 weeks quite longer than the other uh the other splits, I think. Mm -hmm. I think actually it's novice is 12 and Termin's 11 and this is 13, so this is our longest split by about two weeks. Um, every single play one time. Oh. There are no cross groups game. And again, to repeat, playoffs is cross group. Um, so that's what you're going to be seeing the other side. But oh, for group A and group A teams, good luck in your groups, good luck in your games, and see you guys all Friday. Can I add something? Sure. If you don't mind? Yes. Um, okay. Well, this is the thing that I DM'd you about. Sure. Uh, 
So, I don't know how many of you has been watching the news, but I just want to kind of be a good citizen to my country. There was a big earthquake that hit Turkey, which affected close to um, one half million people. Current death toll, I would say, is around 30,000. And to be honest, especially for people like me, I, I made my donations and I feel like just uh just helping out anyone uh, around the world is like any help that turkey can receive is really appreciated um a five dollar that you might be able to donate to the cause that means a lot in turkey especially due to the currency that is almost 10 loaf of breads that can feed people that are kind of battling hunger so i i've I personally want to drop a link to a really like known organization that is helping them. So any money that uh, you can donate, anything is really appreciated. Five dollars, a single dollar, anything that would be really greatly appreciated by everyone. And I know you guys didn't sign up for this, but I just want to uh, kind of remind people that. Sorry. Uh, so oh, okay. no, send, 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 send me the link. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> and I'll post it for you. League. <sighs> Goddamn. Send me the link in podcast chat. I, I, okay. I don't know. I bought a new ball like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was All trying right, to I was trying to have you send it to me before you posted <laughs> it. Oh boy. Let me actually first real quick. I got it. Then the one second. Just in case. Yo, can I be oh yeah. Thank you. I posted it. Well, I'm gonna post it again as an announcement. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Um, prayers up for Turkey once again for anyone that um, was whose family was affected by that. It's a really tragic um, disaster, and yeah, um, my prayers out to you, Sultan, and your family once again. It's never easy to lose a family member. I'm really sorry, and my condolences. But with that being said, we have our groups. <laughs> it's I'm ready for the split, man. A. Hey. Content and this this split is, in my opinion, gonna go crazy. Oh, that's what I forgot to crazy. do. That's what I forgot to do before um before we started this. I wanted to do this on the podcast. So um for those of you who were with us at the very beginning of this stream and you saw the clips and stuff, we'll be doing more of those. Um so I'll be basically um reaching out, asking y'all for clips um to submit to me. It doesn't have to be just the stream games. Because obviously there's multiple games, but just find a way to clip something for me, send me the link, and then it might be on the podcast and we might rate it. So, yeah, just wanted to put that out there to let you know that is a thing we'll be doing now on the podcast for sure. Any last thoughts from you all before we uh, close it down? Oh, uh, nope. Yeah. I'm excited for CCS to split. This is our biggest diamond split, uh, Lava Plot. I mean, technically speaking, if we're being honest, the uh, plot leagues combined are 24 teams. Right, yeah, 20, 24 teams? Yeah, 24 teams. Last year was 32, so it's about 6, 8 less than in terms of our plot ELO. But at least in our Diamond Spear, we have doubled, to well, almost doubled, to 20 teams. I almost had more, but um, we had, like, 8 drops. We actually had another drop yesterday or something like that, so it's annoying. But we still have 20 teams, our biggest split yet. We'll see how everything those goes, and I'm really looking forward to see how you guys all play. I'm actually pretty excited because I'm a big girl. I don't know half these teams. I don't like plat. Uh, I don't really follow the diamond scene. Or I've just gotten into the diamond scene, so it's a less predictable for me. So you know, these groups could end up actually being end up being really balanced. Mid group is a lot better, and we just don't know because like we don't know half these teams anyway. Any thoughts from Sultan, Matt, or Redacted? Nope. No, no thoughts. Just yeah, <sighs> I'm ready for it. And I'm, I'm ready excited. to go to bed. <laughs> Besides I am that, excited for our last split. Uh, <laughs> We're going to Victorious next split, everyone. I <laughs> uh, can't wait to see you there. If you need the link, just ask me. I'll send it to you. Uh, and yeah, I think we're good. How do we tell him? But yeah, nah, we're out of here, y'all. Y'all have a good night. We yeah. have to go.